Here we go. Go. Hello, welcome to AJ's Table Time, and on today's episode, we have another pirate game. Uh, this one in me and Alex's ever search for a good pirate game or story game or whatever, these types of games. I found this one on Kickstarter. This one, I got a, uh, co a painted copy from eBay, so somebody had previously owned this painted up all the miniatures i'm kind of excited about that uh you got uh there's my ship right there uh, on the starting tile uh so what is this game you might ask it's called uh the ever rain in this world it's always raining and it's uh cthulhu themed uh so let me read the overview here and uh we can kind of get what what we're supposed to be doing so it's a fully co-op story driven exploration game for one to four players the world is drowning beneath an endless deluge of rain as an ancient deity awakens to remake the world in its image players must head out into the dark and foreboding seascape to discover the mysteries of the world and prevent uh the evil one from unmaking the entire world each player is a captain of their ship, beginning with the basic crew and a humble vessel, but throughout the game they may improve and upgrade it in many ways. The game is played out in acts, in which the player must collectively race the agents of the enemy along a track where the players, enemies, and the Elder One all have a presence. Reach the end of the final act before the Elder One manifests in the world and completes its final objective, and the game will be won. So. How do we progress? Well, we collect clues, which are awarded in many ways, such as exploration, combat, story progression. Once enough clues have been gathered, hand them in at any port will advance player discovery. And as you can see here, I've got a port right there. Uh, these are open sea spaces, that space, that space, the space I'm on. There's a rough sea space right there. And then there is a random island that we can go on an expedition. So I'm excited about that. I like the way the game is set up in the sense that we all have little um, ships, right? And you move your little crew, your little miniatures between your ship. Like if, the, if I want to go faster, I move them to one of these navigation parts. If I want to fire on my uh, starboard side, then I move them to the starboard fire port. And then you can upgrade your ship with one of six cards. And individual upgrades even have little abilities. When you put your crew, this is called above deck. This is called below deck. So this guy's going to go from here to here. And he gets a special ability based on that card. So basically, as we go along, you upgrade your stuff. Oh, and boys, I found the story progression area. So we put our story cards here, I suppose. You can have a passenger. That might be something that happens along the way. And you have a cargo hold of, of three right there. At least a starting cargo hold of three. And then this is the eagle's, uh, what is it called? Crow's nest. Crow's mm -hmm. nest, not eagle's nest. The crow's nest, if you place your miniature here, that's the way we can go and explore new tiles on uh, the main map here. So let's go ahead and play. So how do we do it? We do round order. We do the player phase first. So everybody refreshes a number of orders. So if we go over here, we get six orders to begin the game. These uh, skulls are crew orders. They allow our crew to move uh, the, into these different spaces. And then we've got our navigation orders. Uh, which allows us to set sail and move. And then we also have our artillery order, uh, which will increase our... Uh, th that fires the ship's artillery when the crew are manning the relevant nodes. So we're not in combat yet, so I don't need to do that. So um, I think I will spend one crew uh, token 
to move my guy from the cabin uh, below deck to above deck and have him go up into the crow's nest. Um, no, you know what? I think it's, I'm not going to explore new tile. I'm actually going to explore the island. So I want to set up for island exploration. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to go uh, man the ropes, right? So speed my ship up a little bit. And I'm going to take one guy and make sure he's in the uh, dinghy. Send a crew on an expedition. So I got to have, have, have to have one guy on a dinghy. All right. So I've got that set up, which um, allows me to move one. When I spend a navigation order. Isn't it one plus the the crew amount? So you move two. Two. I would use. I would move two. Right. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So there's two. I'm adjacent to the island. I'm gonna go out on an expedition. I'm gonna send my little dude here on the dinghy. Quit playing with the dinghy. Send a crew. <laughs> send a crew on an expedition. Uh, so I'll I'll send this guy. And these guys actually correspond to crew uh, bits that you have here. He's a skill four on islands and a skill four in ports. But every crew member actually comes with a negative trait and a positive trait. So this crew member is an explorer. Before testing, you may redraw the expedition card. So sweet. So I picked the right guy. But he's also clawdish. Successful fate dice results must be re-rolled. <laughs> so he basically... <laughs> He, he, he's a good explorer, but he falls on his face when he gets in there. God damn it. These, I can't believe I picked these two. They kind of cancel each other out, huh? Um, well, maybe I won't send that asshole. Nisha's not like my guy. Yo, Hemingway, <laughs> no, the you know, explorer. Where's the bar? You know what? That'll be funny. Let's just do it. I'm going to send this asshole out there. Um, Keep exploring, asshole. Yeah, so I don't know if you're supposed to put the miniature there, but I'm going to put the miniature there just so you guys can kind of see what, what I'm doing. All right. So players take their turns. Uh, what, do, what, what do we get? Do we get like three actions or one action? Or what, what was the thing that – do you remember? I don't remember. Let's go read. Play around order. Refresh orders and remove fatigue. Players take their turns. Okay, let's look to see in the rule book if there's an explanation of taking their turns. I think it's just you use a bunch of your orders, right? And you use as many orders as you can. Player death. Your Players may issue as many fresh orders as they wish on their turn and refresh three at the start of each of their turns. Okay, so you only, so refresh you only three. get three back. So you can go as much as you want Ooh. and then get three back. Oh, okay, so I did the crew moving and then I did the navigation. Okay. And what did I do? Uh, oh, and then you know what I would have had to do? I would have had to do another order, right, to send a crew on an expedition, I believe. I think that takes. No, that uh, moves a single crew around or between the on deck, below deck. There are no restrictions. Moving a crew zone into a zone. Okay, no, no, that won't. Okay, navigation. Send a crew on an expedition. Recover strain. All right, exploring the map. Calm and rough seas, ports and desians, locations and services. Islands and expeditions. Here we go. Launching expeditions. All crew occupying dingy and a ship's boat improvement will take part in the expedition. They can be present before arriving at the island or order to these improvements once there. Oh, shit. These guys sent two people. Maybe I should send two people. Draw an expedition card and test the crew by rolling the fate dice. A result equal to or lower than the crew's value is a success. Equal to or lower. Ray, this is your game, buddy. Equal My time to, to shine, baby. Or lower. <laughs> Finally. Okay. Well, that's if the value five counts. What? What? If this equal what to or value. lower than five. 
You're going to succeed oh, like a baby. month, right? Send me to search all day. <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's the fate die. It's actually the green dice. So, yeah. Resolve the outcome and mark the island with an explored passenger token. When a passenger is taken aboard, explored. Used to mark shipwrecks, altars, and islands that have been interacted with. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little scared, a little worried. So I'll tell you what. Don't I, be scared. Should I bring both of my guys there? Nah. Nah. You got it. Yeah, yeah you got it's it. fine. Well, you're gonna have to drag the one out of the bar. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, then I will explore that. So let's see. Draw an expedition card. Okay, which one is the expedition card? It is the uh small that no, that one. So who's my my reader? Player to my left. <coughs> okay. Um, Once upon a time. No. <laughs> Let me make sure I got this right before you read it out loud. Events and storytelling, revealing new map tiles. Okay, let's just go on this expedition. So go ahead, sir, and read uh, the expedition thing to me. The telltale smoke of an encampment rises in the distance. Oh. So you endeavor to make the site to make for the site and see what can be ascertained for whoever may populate it. A small collection of tents seem mundane on the approach, yet as you draw near, the blood-stained fabric comes into sharp focus. Oh, uh oh. That's now there's good. a test. Oh, there's a test, so I test. Okay, I got a test. Test your might. Test your might. My guy is a four, you're so going I gotta off, roll. You're going off the palm tree. I'm going off the palm tree. I gotta roll. Oh, God damn it! this is a green die on my green screen. But it's now if you pass, know. yeah, there's something, and if you fail, right, there's something. <laughs> but the test is your palm tree. It's just a d10, right? Yeah, it's a d10. You gonna give me a black one? No, I don't want that. This is a, I don't want the bullshit. <laughs> you, you want something that's not gonna show up? Yeah, well, you're right. I'm gonna have to use that one if if this don't show up. But I'm gonna roll it first to see. I'm just nervous and I don't want to roll. It. Okay, ready? I'm gonna roll the green one. We'll see if it shows up or not. Eight. Eight. Numbers show up. <laughs> okay, so I rolled an eight. I failed. Wonderful. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But wait. Wait a minute. There's more. I was before testing. You may redraw the expedition card. The new card is final. Um, I might as well do that before <laughs> testing. Oh, it says before testing. My fight. My fault. Uh, oh, but I'm Claudish. Successful fate dice must be re-rolled. Uh, well, this is a failed fate dice. So my guy sucks, and I hate him, and I'm never sending him to an island. Well, you again. definitely wanted to pass. <laughs> I definitely wanted to pass. Well, I failed, sir. Then I won't. I won't read what it is, but I will say. Oh God damn! Wait, you if got... you if you fail, is there like a you yes. get eaten by cannibals? There's, there's a failed condition. The horrors are a hard sight to stomach. All the crew on the expedition suffer one strain. Ah. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay. Yeah, but he'd have gotten two clues and something else had he passed. Mm. I'd have gotten two clues, which we need five clues to turn in, and that's Got a, a good thing. Clue. So strain is a purple, and trauma is a red. Womp. Strain is not, I don't think strain is too bad. So I'm good on that. Um, let me see if I can. Play. You guys must have some massive health, because my guys take two strains, and they're taking dirt naps. <laughs> so the guy is clueless. The guys are going to die. Fuck. We all die, OJ. Not to Guys man really die a lot sooner. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Well, for turn one. All right. Well, I guess, I mean, I technically I could send the other guy. I'm going to send the other guy. I'm going to move him uh, into the dinghy. The Hardly Boys. <laughs> yeah. And do I have to do another one? Launching the dinghy. All crew occupying dinghy and ship boat improvement will take part in the expedition. Whenever... A player ship navigates to an island. Oh, do I actually have to be on the island spot? I don't think there's like an adjacency thing. Mm. It's an island boy. <laughs> Too soon. Okay, and then I uh, will. Uh, okay, I'm gonna send this guy. Draw another expedition card. So they this said. guy is also a four, but he is. This guy is, uh, he's prosperous mm. and burdensome. Mm. Prosperous. Collect five coin when visiting a port. Nice. 
burdensome. Negative one to fate die results when engaging in services. Uh, <laughs> cool, <huh? laughs> I don't want to know what kind no. of services. No. Poop deck services. Oh, ooh. Swab it, baby. Mm -hmm. Collect five coin when visiting port. So that's my semen. port guy. Okay. Speaking of, so you ready for your next one? Sure. As your party wanders along the wind battered shores, you discover what at first appears to be a dead body. Yet upon closer inspection, you detect faint signs of life. Okay. Let me test. Test. Ready? Ten. Ten. Epic failure. <laughs> Fail, dead, yet refusing to die, spawn a drowned man on deck. Fuck! <laughs> Are you kidding me? God damn it. Zambies already. Again, you'd have picked drowned up man. another crewman had he mm. passed. Yeah. Dude, uh, drowned man are, let's see. Oh, it's a beautiful ship. I think you should go down with it. <laughs> Give me uh, one of those other baggies. Hey, we said we wouldn't speak about that on stream. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, I mean, another baggie. That was special delivery. <laughs> Drown, man. Oh, dude, these look like they're Nurgle touch. Yeah, you wish. That's probably <laughs> the drowned man. <laughs> Those are worms. <laughs> Fucking Debbie drowners. Then there's bloated cadavers. No there they lay are. down, Larry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these are cool. Oh, so are these They're conquistadors well or whoever are these bastards? Colonizers. <laughs> so it's these guys. Oh, wow. Wow, princess. We're going there. Fuck. She's going to make me whip out the combo. <laughs> it's too early. A little coral. Coral. Well painted. Coral. Okay, so... What was the, uh, where do I spawn him? On deck. All right. Well, I'll put him in one of the slots. Oh, she takes that back shots. <laughs> cool. Well, now I'm going to have to engage in combat to get this motherfucker out. Look, I'm spending all my stuff. So this is move him from one to the next. And let me move the pointer since he has two two dice. So he's going to Coral Combat. <laughs> Attack this guy. Combat. Combat. Conflict in the world in this world is rife and can yield great results, but that's not the only path to achieving your goal. There are two types of combat on deck and sea. Combat on deck. Both your crew and enemies can trigger on combat on deck called frays. Frays are automatically triggered by a crew moving into a zone containing an enemy. Issuing a crew order to a crew in an enemy-occupied zone and enemies using damage results to inflict trauma on crew. Frays are resolved differently depending on who or what triggered them. Uh, when multiple miniatures are involved in a fray, players always decide how trauma is distributed to both crew and enemies. All right. Crew trigger. When a crew are ordered into zones containing enemies, create the player dice pool by choosing in combination of attack or evasion dice equal to the combined dice values of all crew in the zone. Oh, look at that. You can, if I had another order, then I could have brought my guy over here. But, you know, to be fair... Let's say because I think your crew, where do you, did the game specify that our crew had to start in a space? Because I'm wasting crew actions getting my crew in different spaces. I started mine in the cabins and dinghy. Let's see where it actually says. So did you, you put all the men on your dinghy. Seaman got a lead from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just ready to go. <laughs> OJ, is your ship named after a penis too? It is. Oh, yeah. The bitter Yeah, end. it has yeah. to go <laughs> anywhere in the below deck area. Oh, so below? they were yeah. already in the dinghy, so I didn't need to move one guy to the dinghy. You could have put both could of them in the dinghy. Could you guys put, put your guys in the dinghy? Oh, man. Both of my guys in the dinghy. I can't. Oh, wait. With the matching crew managers placed anywhere in the below deck area. So there's only one guy in the dinghy. Not, not two guys in the dinghy. 
Oh. Because there's only one slot in the dinghy right now. If you upgrade your dinghy, then you can get maybe more slots. My dinghy can slots. handle two. But right now, it is okay, really so called a dinghy. It is really called a dinghy. Yeah. So I have a, a pool. Small boat. I have a pool of three dice that I can potentially roll. <laughs> the bitter end. <laughs> because uh, one guy is a two, and one guy is a Face one. Face my wrath. <laughs> <laughs> Worst 20 seconds of your life. <laughs> <laughs> you will not enjoy this. <laughs> it will be over very quickly. Now. <laughs> Neither will I. <laughs> Park and say it. Oh, that so, changes. <laughs> since I have three dice, I'm going to choose to roll two attack dice and one evasion dice. So there's two attack and one evasion. Nice. The enemy will be rolling uh, enemy dice. I don't know what type. Roll to control the actions of the enemy. It was a specific enemy type, wasn't it? Uh, can you read that card again and remind me what kind of enemy spawned on my ship? Drowned man. Drowned. A drowned man? Drowned man on deck. Interesting. Um, what is death may never die. <laughs> Except this fucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then yeah, that guy, what are you talking can about? Can I get... Oh, I think this is the enemy deck. Round man. Drowned man. <laughs> Too much rum. You didn't have any rum. I know. So he's got two health. <laughs> a hollow soul. His whole soul is hollow. When prompted by the spoils reward symbol, players roll the fate die and consult the spoils. Well, That's he is sailing the pariah, so it kind of fits. <laughs> I am sailing the pariah. The ship's called the pariah, huh? My ship is called the pariah. Pariah carry. Yeah. <laughs> A wild drowned man appeared on the deck, Unicorn Princess. <laughs> Health. How much trauma an enemy can take before being destroyed? Two. Um, the number of rolls Sticky required <laughs> on the as spoils table. It's not a dingy dingy. Think you're okay. Dice value. The number of dice the enemy rolls when they activate. Runs Two. Patch. All right. Still trying to get past the dinghy? Uh, best, best course of action is just close your eyes and go for it. So. Tilly ho! <laughs> just grin and bear it to the bitter end. <laughs> so what happens if we fill up our strain? They die. I hate my I collect the enemy dice equal to each enemy in the zone in the, the dice zone. sword to the bitter end. <laughs> you wound up with pariah that never lost. <laughs> and that's how you go around the world, folks. Oh, so collect one. Uh, collect enemy dice equal to each enemy in the zone's dice value. It's two mm -hmm. minus one. This is because the crew are attacking, so have the advantage. So oh, nice. you only have one when you're attacking them. Roll all dice simultaneously and resolve the results. You don't want to go three attack dice, so you can, can, can well kill him. I, I want to try to evade because I want to keep my guys alive, right? Nah. Take the total enemy damage rolled. Okay, so total da enemy damage rolled is this value, which is a fucking I don't know satanic symbol. I was like, deals one damage to the target. Okay. And then my result here. Evade. You cancel I, one enemy damage deal. A evaded. And then what about these? That's an omen. Uh, exhaust a fresh order to change to a damage result. Exhaust a Ooh. fresh order. Well, you're. I'm gonna need it. What's the other one? Uh, the other one is damage. Do one damage. So in order to kill him, I need two. So I'll do that, and then I'll refresh an order. And it says any order, or does it have to be the crew order? It says a fresh order. A fresh order. So I'll I'll, tr ref I'll get rid of my artillery since I'm not shooting a ship. And I kill the drowned man. Now, because I killed the drown drown him. drowned man. <laughs> check his pockets for loose change. We <laughs> check his pockets for loose change. Two blades. Which, that is that value right there. So I roll one fate die and consult the fate thing. But what about this stuff? Ooh. Hollow Soul. A crew on deck suffers one strain, and life siphon. All crew on deck suffer one trauma. Oh, that's cool. It's if we roll those particular symbols that these things happen. So I like that. That's interesting. Okay, I beat his ass. Let's see what I get for it. 
Spoils of War. Nine. Ten coin. Look at you getting rich. Nice. I'm rich, bitch. Oh, Joe, how many coins did I give you at the beginning? You gave me 10, 30, Oh, here 40. we go. 40, okay, I need to give myself 40. So now I have 50 coins, everyone. Nice. Can I have some? No, I Never. gave you 40 coins at the beginning of the game. No, no, that was like from the, from the game, though. But like, you got 50 now. You can like. Oh, you want some. G give me some money. No. Oh. RGB All right. beat me to it. So that is an example of a turn, uh, a player turn, and a combat. Now, technically, I do have two orders left that I could do stuff with. I know you can't see it on camera. Let's see if I could zoom out a little bit. Yeah, think about a level power. That coin and a token might get you on the subway. But the issue, um, I guess I could navigate. Well, remember, you only have to refresh three tokens, so you don't necessarily want to blow your whole load because you got more than a turn's worth of refractory. Rubbish! Through that, so I'm done. Trash! <laughs> Rubbish! <laughs> I'm done with you, do, Alex. You made right. the boss of me! I have not successfully explored this island, gentlemen, so I do not place one of these um, explored tokens yet, right? Because I've failed each time I tried. So one of y'all, I think, can... We can't explore, though, because you're on it, right? Hmm. Interesting. I Do guess I, I guess actually cover the space. I want to go into the rough sure. seas. It's the way your mother likes it, isn't it, Trebek? <laughs> <laughs> so many choices. I know, right? <laughs> Too many to die to choose from. Of course, that about dies of cringe. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's in his bitter. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you got to take the bitter with the better. Yeah. Moving your ship we, around we the map requires ship. navigation points. A single point of navigation allows the ship to turn one. Moving this ship. Mine is called Ships Ahoy. <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy, ladies. <laughs> He's in the Steve Harrington outfit. Yeah. <laughs> That's the name of my ship. Yeah, the name of OJ's ship is the Bitter End. The name of my ship is the Ivory Sword, and I'm not making that up. Oh, you're not wrong, Terrible Terrors. That's chocolate chunks. <laughs> Why is m and That's Captain Chunks. But this is the USS Never Lost. Get the chewy Never ones, lost. put it in the microwave for a little bit. Amazing. Just enough to warm yes. them up, make them pliable. <laughs> <laughs> Just make your own goddamn cookies. <sighs> Maybe that's time for that. I'm looking forward to tossing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd like you to get, get the, the fuck out of here. Oh, Dr. Evil must have seen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Doc. Yeah, man. <laughs> What's up, Jimmy? But it didn't make it to Gen Pop, so I was just getting ready to take care of it, and Jimmy's like, All right, yeah, it's advantageous for y'all to uh, put a guy in the crow's nest because, yeah, you can't draw, you can't uh, go into that same spot that I'm in. Okay. Got it. So uh, get, get somebody in the crow's nest, sail off into the fog, or go to port. Maybe there's something at port that you can do. You got some money, so... Um, there's things that you can do at port. Winches. I did not. Unscrupulous ladies of the night. Wish I would have uh, done a uh, reference you card for vampires? that. talking about vampires? Oh, there's no reference Ladies card of the night. Port. Vampires. Wait for vampires, it. Vampires, I tell you. Wait for it. I'm going to tell you right now what's at port because it is now uh, Ray's turn, right? Yep. That's so Ray has about. to make. So first things first, Ray, put your ship in one of the open sea spaces, one of oh, those three... Uh, calm sea spaces, it's called. <laughs> You're gonna go there. Okay. <laughs> they do suck your blood. And choose your Gentle. yeah. Okay, your direction facing. It's my first time. Well, oh well. well make if sure we're doing that you're way, then direct, you're facing a direction that you doing want. That way. Yeah, I, I, that way I can explore the eye. I can actually check out the calm port. seas movements. Yeah, because the direction matters. When you spend a navigation, <laughs> you can turn once and move in to And then a actually space. go to where we're going? Yeah. Cool. So, uh, just to show you what's at port. Where's well, I can go to port or I port? can look for... There's your vamp. You could go, I mean, into... Well, first things first is... Um, well, no, let me tell you what's at, what's at port. 
arriving in port. Is it going to list everything? Yeah. So, Shipwright. Um, draw four upgrades. Players choose which combination of these cards from the improvement and or artillery decks to draw. Revealing the cards as they're draw, drawn. Then purchase any of these for their cost and install on the ship. Repair nodes on deck for five coins per node destroyed. Install any acquired schematics by paying half their cost. So basically, you draw four upgrades and you can pay their cost and install on your ship. So you can upgrade your ship right away. You have $40. You can go to the marketplace, draw three treasure cards, then purchase any of these. You can sell any treasures that are currently in your hold. You can sell any schematics that you've gotten on your adventures that have not been installed yet for half their cost. Um, you can go to the apothecary. Crew can be sent here to recover trauma. Trauma are the, the fucked up things like somebody's like stabbed in the shit. shit. Right. I... I got stress uh, last time, which was just a purple instead of a trauma's red. Uh, you can go to the university. Once you I have five clues <laughs> or treasures with the necessary clue value, you can exchange it here to advance us on the winning track. You can go to the inn. The inn offers a widest variety of services. You can rest, gamble, or drink. Each fully recovers a crew's strain, but with varying costs and, in some cases, consequences. You can get in bar fights, you can lose your money, you can get robbed. Uh, or you can hire crew, draw three crew boards. Any of these may be hired by paying their wage value. Or you can stay a while and listen <laughs> in, at the end. Coins can be paid for the chance of acquiring free clues. Free as in, I guess you don't you, you don't have to go on adventures to get them. You just yeah, what you're just saying. right there with it. So what would you like to do? Would you like to go to port or would you like to explore the unknown? I think explore the known. Explore the known. Let's <laughs> see. We're That's already started with this. <laughs> do I Deckard Kane it or do we risk? Or we could just buy something. I don't, I don't know if we got it. enough money to buy anything cool. I yet. know that's the only reason I'm not trying to upgrade. Right, that's why I'm not trying to upgrade the ship. I, mean, I, I think I think, I think we'd we be able to afford one thing. Or should we stay a while and listen? See what Decker Connery has to yeah. tell us. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go exploring. I need to find cool shit. So if well, you, you do guys it, absolutely do. So I'm going he went exploring. to an island. You two are exploring. <laughs> I'll part. be the one to go to port. Maybe port. I can find us something. Okay. Right. So I have to move one person to navigation. So yes. yeah. So what you what no. you do? No, you actually your ship can move. Oh, because for free I'm like by right using there. one uh, blue blue by, chip. by one navigation token. So. Yeah. So spend so, a blue chip. Right. Mm -hmm. Then uh, you down here into issue oh. into just on the side. Oh, just on the issued orders. Okay. Issued orders. Cool. 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 And, and then, then slide your ship down into port. Excuse me while I whip this out. All right. Now, Set up now you take a crew that? token uh, and then issue and an then order. And see which one I want to put up there. Then you can take the miniature and you can go over here. Okay. Now, what's his port? What's his plus? At the end of return, recover one trauma or strain because he's seasoned. However, his now when you go into port, quarrelsome. there's a special thing called uh, den denizen. There's like new people at port every time. Sounds so, den denizen, <laughs> den denzian, Denzel, Denzel. <laughs> Is that you? Oh shit, Denzel, what's up, man? How you been? Um, artillery, deckhands, crew, death and dismissal, navigation, arriving in port. Each port may only be visited once during a player's turn, but multiple different ports may be visited on the same turn. Um, okay. If enemies are on your deck, banish and remove them, but advance the enemy agenda. No, you don't have any enemies. <coughs> Reveal the top Denison card. All right, Denzian card. Here we go. So I take this card and we reveal it. And uh, let me go ahead. Oh, it, it's a story. <gasps> story time. It's a story for you. That would be Alex is your story reader. Get the work, narrator. Ooh. You're going to die. Oh, shit. A distressed and melancholic looking patron eyes you as you enter the inn. Your <laughs> gazes meet and seeing this as an invitation, they approach, sit, and promptly launch into their tale. We did not know so. of what we dabbled in, my companion and I. She is still trapped there. That place is cursed. And she is the conduit. A beacon in the dark to uh, all manner of horrors. Please, if you have the courage, go to the caves and do what I could not. 
Oh. Is that a, what, what is, does it say test? Test. Okay. Uh, let me read it. So that's a story. I think you're on a, a, a story. It's um, the, the number on the right is the one you'd have to pass. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Let me, let me see the card real quick. Oh, no. No. And Princess, I'm glad you clarified that. I was like, that's right up my alley. Whores in the dark cave, let's yeah. go. <laughs> okay, so a <laughs> test is a test. So what's your port skill on the guy it's that you took? It's nowhere near good enough. It's a three. Okay, wait a minute. So uh, we forgot easy. to ask you which guy you were going to go to port with. Well, Obviously, he... choose the guy that has the highest port value. Okay, well, that would be the four. Okay, so, so you're testing with a four. Easy. Here's the die. I have to? Four, yes. four below. Four below, and he <sighs> succeeds. <clears throat> well, time to live up to my name. Don't worry. It so you roll on the main camera? Low roll Ray. Yeah, we want a low roll. Oh, <laughs> Zero! You died. That Shut up. Was, uh, you dead. You Shut roll up. on your... I'll roll on the green screen. I didn't know if you again. wanted me to. Yeah. So you rolled a 10 well, you when you needed a 4, right? <laughs> That's what I said. I wanted to... <laughs> what about your traits on the guy that has a 4? Is, is any of that going to help him? Strain not suffer when finishing a turn on deck. Oh, when visiting port, must first gamble or drink. <laughs> After this, they may make a second yeah, action. Yeah, but, like, but this is a special story generate. thing that happens. So before you do anything else, you'll have to gamble or drink. But Alex, go ahead and read the fail statement. Fail! More than likely, just another tall tale from a wretched inebriate. So basically, you lose that story. If you succeeded, it would have gone to card number ninety-six, and Joe would have would have uh, you know probably gotten us some good give, shit. Cool, as long you as there's cool nothing shit. in the eighties, we lost everything in the eighties. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's fucking coked up, crazy times. So. Yeah, eighty so. to okay, eighty-five. So Ray, Ray basically said, "Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm gonna go drink or whatever." Stay a while and listen. Shut up, you old drunk. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I mean. If you want, uh, pick whoever you want to go into the port because we should have did that step process. What about your? No, it would have been. It would have been, been worse because the, the other no, because the other guy has a three. Mm -hmm. I was trying to send it because I thought my test would be the island, but I guess that's only to explore. Okay, so in this case, give me the guy uh, that is that's going to port, and you said you ha It's his negative trait is his he's negative a trait is. He must first yeah, what's, gamble what's or drink. Degenerate. He's a degenerate. <laughs> so he's going to gamble or drink. What do you want to do? you want to gamble or do you want to drink? Right Go gamble. Oh. Drink or gamble? Well, chat says gamba. gamble. <laughs> That's what we do gamble. best. Okay, you're going to gamble. Five coins. So pay me five coins. Thank you, sir. Roll a D10. And now you're rolling the fake dice. Roll oh. it on camera. It's right there. You oh, I thought it. you meant the yeah, fate yeah. like those guys. Yeah. Um, I, I have a question. Yes, sir. This is very important. Yes. In, does this game count the the zero as a zero? Let's say it's a zero or ten. No, no, because no. No, it's it's a no, because right if it's there, zero, it I zero on the, the board. If it's zero, then I win. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, shit. So if that's then that means that Ray actually did just it means win. We, yeah, we I did think do you're. I think you're right. And that's what I was saying. It's zero. Okay, let's put it on hold while I go look for that. Okay, then we gamble. Mm -hmm. Then you gamble. It's called Ever Rain. Ever Rain. That's the never loss. Never loss. But lose fate right dice. Now. The your tongue. is called the fate dice and is used for a variety of tasks. The in objection in the Ever Rain zero is the lowest result. Oh! We win. Live it up to my name, bitches. What? All right, <laughs> low roll, <laughs> bitch. Pass if you agree. Uh, so read the pass to him. Pass. You agree to investigate the patron's claims. Uh, ninety-six plus ninety-six plus. Okay, so gra uh, grab card ninety-six Got and it. read it. The forlorn patron's story was in part a confessional, and its telling seemed to alleviate a portion of the guilt he carried. He and another had headed to an unfrequented isle to dabble in forces they ought not. And the result had dire consequences for one of them. What kind of debauchery were they doing on that island? <laughs> Within the cave hung the patron's companion. Aloft, yet no ropes <laughs> kept them from the ground. From their whole body emanated a crimson light that made torches redundant in the pitch black. And the damnable book lay where the patron had abandoned it. You make ready to read the crucial passages. 
No, you must not read from a book. Well, actually, it just says read from the book. Advanced no. agenda uh, <laughs> three and ninety-seven. Ag- Advanced agenda three. <laughs> uh, can, can I see this? Yep. I'm not understanding. So events in storytelling, the narrator rule, triggering stories. See Expedition Denzian consist to have potential trigger stories. Triggering stories. A story begins when the outcome of a choice a player has made ends with a plus, followed oh, by I'm a number. Triggered. That's what he did. And then place the card <laughs> just resolved what? in the ship story slot. Where's the old card? Put that in your oh. story slot at the Put bottom. Put that in of your, your slot. Deck. Mm, it's in the middle. Smoke it. <laughs> um, and we'll, and sorry, place the card just revealed in this. Uh, place a new card on it. One. Oh, he's gonna die. Is the people gonna die? <laughs> I'm gonna run into a street shark. Okay. Dar- Darth Jar Jar is pleased. <laughs> I think. Damn straight, Don. Wait for it. You know it's coming. If I understand this right, it says, when prompted by an outcome of a card, search the ongoing stories deck for the corresponding numbered card. We did that. Mm -hmm. Place the card just resolved in the ship story slot. Perfect. And without reading it, place the new card under the ongoing stories card. Players hold on to active story cards for future reference. When either the player or enemy discovery track reaches a space with the story symbol, all cards in the ongoing stories deck are placed face down and perpendicular to the top of their respective decks. When a numbered card is drawn, players check to see who it belongs to. If it belongs to the player whose turn it is, the card is resolved to meet. I don't understand. I know. I thought we were getting a reward card for that. I was like, no. Oh, uh, you know, it's, I, I'm kind of using other games to yeah, uh, kind of resolve, kinda it, resolve it the process. But here. Is, is it do something different from what I'm understanding? Just don't know. Once the story has begun, that player is the owner, and no one can claim cards relating to that story. If a story card is drawn on a player's turn that does not belong to them, the card is then passed to the owner, who places it faces down in their shipboard. The current player draws another card. Face down cards in the story slot are resolved when a player is prompted. I don't understand. I think... What it means is I'm going to place your story under the ongoing stories card. And then that story will continue when either a player or enemy discovery reaches a space with the story symbol. All the cards in the ongoing story decks are placed face down. Perfect. I'm going to have to have Alex... Back me up on this while I look at something else. Because the ongoing story cards is what's getting me. What's up? Okay, how about this? The Sea Event, Expedition, and Denzian decks all contain story cards. Stories can begin in and cross over into any of these decks by discovering new cards. These are collected under ongoing stories covering card under the ongoing stories covering card and placed on top of their respective decks. When player or enemy discovery reaches a space with the story icon. Or collected under the one there. What? I'm not understanding this fucking ever rain (coughs) fucking rule book. God damn it. Let me go look it up on uh, the thing here. We'll go to chat interaction. Maybe Joe can uh, talk to y'all. No. 
<laughs> Joe doesn't want to do his job. He doesn't like y'all very much. They what mean. They know the meanies over there. <laughs> They're mean. Nothing but jerks. Go on board game. How do you game? play this game, man? You ram everything. I was trying to ram shit, but I can't ram shit. Yeah, well, it's just getting past the rule book. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You're welcome, Panda. Uh, I got too lazy, I'm Doc. Hello. Okay, I think I understand how this works. So Ray, what Ray has done is he's initiated a story, but he doesn't get to move on to that section of the new story until we as a group or the enemies themselves trigger it. So there are things oh. along the, the deck. The, the enemy board mm -hmm. over here has That's story symbols, and then this one has story symbols as well. Mm -hmm. So the second that anyone progresses and we go from one to two, there's a story symbol here, we would immediately move on to the, to the next story. To trigger the next. Yeah, and so... When either player or enemy discovers, uh, does a story symbol, all cards in the ongoing story uh, stories deck are placed face down and perpendicular on top of the respective decks. So once we reach there, that card, which is a blue, that card is a oh, gray. It, it would be. It there. would go on that perpendicular, and it just to signify that that's like the next one up. I don't like it. And then when a numbered card is drawn, players see see who it belongs to. And so next time we draw that, it goes to Ray. So it comes to and because cards. it links with his story. Because it links and with the his way story. we know his story. The next card we draw from what deck? The the court, the exact deck that 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 is. Okay, matching. so give me this. That doesn't go there yet until. It goes there. It only it, go there? it only gets put there and perpendicular once we get to a story symbol. But then, how do we know what the next one? Because we have to reach a story symbol before the, all of the ongoing story cards get moved over. I don't know why that's the case, but that's what it says. Okay, I'm still struggling to understand it, but uh, let's let's play it out. So, this card, ongoing story card, is going to collect all of our ongoing stories. Correct. And there's a chance that we'll lose the stories if the bad guys Something do happened. some bullshit. Yeah. Uh, but then, how do we continue? That story. Example three in that in that example, example that they gave you says that once we reach a story a story spot, so, which is like this has what? a little book right here. See so, how you know, it says a little story on symbol. our track. On our track, and there's ones on their track as well. The second that this gets moved over, yes. all cards under the ongoing story one uh -huh. get placed perpendicularly per on their own deck. So the next time it says to draw one of these cards, it will be the right story card, and we get to progress the story. It's insanely convoluted. I and got stupid. it. So no, I get so no, no well, one can maybe, fulfill another maybe story. Maybe it's actually this one clever out. because you need to get the action away from port, right? Yeah. Be and the way they do that is it reference the number of a expedition card. Yeah, and you draw expedition cards when you go to random islands. Right. So the so next time you guys island, explore, yeah, they can but still we can't it. do your stories. So we won't be. Oh, but do a little we do that as a it's a team it's because we yeah. co-op. Because the next time, because once once we get to that point and then it gets put on that deck, the next person that's forced to draw that goes automatically advances mine and, and links to his, and then it says it goes to the player who's linked. But it okay, but it goes to him. Yes, but he's not at the island, so how does that work? I, I don't know thematically how they did it, but that's what I it's, told it, you guys the rumor I heard or, maybe. Or, or tile four in that that pigeons. page you showed me <laughs> sent pigeons. Carry your pigeons. We'll pocket sand. Yeah. Yeah. When a numbered card is drawn, <laughs> players <laughs> check to see who it belongs to. That's what you said. Yeah, it doesn't say that he has to draw it. It just it's says when it's drawn. If it sand. belongs to the players whose turn it is, yeah. Wonder if it's a the card pigeon. is resolved immediately. <laughs> if not, it is placed face down in the story slot and resolved when they would draw next draw the, the cards from that deck. Yeah, so it's kind of grody. It's convoluted. Uh, kind of grody, but I guess it's going to have to be a work. Okay, thank you for helping me to understand that. So, do you do you got that, um, Ray? Basically, you need to find an island and go there. It could actually be the same island I'm on once I move off, you know, <coughs> uh, because it's just any island that allows you to draw from that um, that type of deck, the okay, expedition deck. Okay, and I deck. do have another action that I can use, mm -hmm. so I can bring that guy back onto the ship. Yes. Which guy? Do you have to spend an action to bring your dude back on ship? 
Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't want to sail off and leave. Maybe him not. There. <laughs> um, so that's launching expedition. Stand on the corner. Show your shake your money maker. Make daddy some money. Yo, bathwater. Let's go. <laughs> it's full of glitter. The Send a crew to locations to engage in services. Oh, that's right. I still have to resolve my gamba. Yeah, yeah. You're going to roll the D10 and a 0 through 4. Uh, you lose. And then on a 5. Oh, I have to roll higher now? It's high. Okay, so now we need a 9, not a 0. Yeah. Okay, so we got 5 on the table, boys. Engaging what do we service. Back home? Circular port space. Hold on. So you are right there. You're gambling. Yeah, five to nine. Each circular port space on the board is considered a service. Each crew may engage a single service on a visit to a port. Some services have multiple functions. Uh, you know what while Chris is there, the Ooh. act of sending crew to a port does not cost anything, though the service they engage most likely will. Um, Departing from a port. Once a player has concluded their business in port, all crew that went to port or returned anywhere below deck, and the face-up Denzian card is discarded. They may can now continue their turn, providing their... So, no, you don't have to spend an order to go back from port onto your ship. You just... Play. It's just the card told me I don't have to spend an action to gamble. That has to happen. Yeah, go ahead and gamble, sir. Pay that man Ooh, his you. money! 15 Bye. coins. You win. You gambled. Collect 15 mm. coins. Ooh, how sweet the sound. There you go. Money, money, money. Did you just throw my money in the seat? <laughs> Arr, we crazy. came here for that booty. <laughs> we weren't disappointed. <laughs> um. SS never lost, bitches. <laughs> so we got a story, well, and we got cash. Well, that doesn't make sense to me. It, it, they cir each circular point, circular port space on a board is considered a service, and each crew may engage a single service on a visit to port. Mm -hmm. So if that guy's forced to gamble... I don't think that counts as his No, service. because it specifically says... I must gamble or drink. After this, they may. Okay. They m read the whole thing again. Yeah. When visiting port, must first gamble or drink. After this, they may visit a second location. Okay. Do you want to visit a second location? Well, I did when I listened to the story. Because I had to gamble first, and you then wanna, I had to listen, listen to. You don't have to <laughs> do anything, but you're going to listen to the story? No, we did, which is what triggered it. Yeah, the very first thing he did was stay a while unless we just did it out of order. But we just did it in reverse order. Yeah. I mean, I would have gambled anyway, but then I had to... The, you mean the card that you drew? Mm -hmm. The yes. card that you drew was automatic. That's a free thing. Okay, well, then you can get it. That's that's the Denzian. Normally, it would have been a, a, a guy or something like that. This is the first card you drew. It was just a story. Because yeah, that, that was you picked up for free. That was that is, oh, I that thought that was nothing the stay to a do while with listen. staying a while and listen. Fuck it, go to the ship right. Staying a while and listening is basically just do you get a oh a clue? A clue. Yeah, I know, Doctor Evil. That's why I was like, oh, we can definitely decorate the shit out of this. Yeah, go get yourself a clue. Because it literally says stay a while and listen. Or you could pay ten coin to guarantee that you're collecting one. Clue. Seeing as how we just won fit in, let's just go ahead and purchase. Said clue. Okay. Well, you have yeah. to roll. You have to roll. No, no. He's oh, going. I can roll, or I can just coin. pay. Yeah. We so are twenty percent done, point. bitches. Does that go into the hold or? Uh, the clues go into. Oh no! Your there's clue a clue area. spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you do it multiple times? Because there's a symbol down there. What does that symbol down there mean? What symbol? Next to say why I'm listening, it says pay ten gold, and it looks like a. Is that a? Infinite yeah. Or yeah. Then the, you can do that one multiple times. It's a retweet. Let me uh, <laughs> retweet it. <laughs> I'm the kind of fool who likes my own tweet. <laughs> I'll double check on that. I think there are certain ones that you can do. Learning the game. Learning the game. <laughs> Services with the Twitter symbol may be used multiple times during a single visit. So as long as the player has the coin to do so. All other services may only be used once per visit. So it has to have that symbol. It does. Would you like to pay more coin for so more clues? Should we buy another clue? Buy them all. Yes. I can buy one, two, three. I can buy four. I can get all five clues. Uh, you can buy four, and you can get five, and you can advance us. But you'd be broke like a joke. Yeah, then I got to go, go out in the world and plunder. Okay, let's do it. Fuck well, it. it's co-op, right? 
Yeah. So if I take these five clues back to. Yeah. So we're already here. So grab all five clues. Right. Give me all Wait, the money. For one, it, though. two, three, four, five. Well, that'll get me the other four. Okay. So you get four clues. I'm broke, bitches. One, two, three, <laughs> four. Now you've got five clues total. And then now you will have to send your second crew member with a crew action to um, to port. Bloop. All right, give me the dude. Yeah, and then he on, goes to the on, university. The Where's the university? University. Now the university says discover. So you five clues advance the player discovery by one. So five clues and guess allows what? us story time, bitches. To advance by one. So the story under there goes to the perpendicular under the other thing because we've hit the story time you, symbol. We've hit a story symbol, which uh, allows us to do what? That goes on top of the relevant deck perpendicular, like. Okay, why is there already a perpendicular? Because the two on the bottom. that were discarded went to the bottom. Let's do a discard, a, a separate discard because pile it says to put it, it to under. It, it? No. Oh. Okay. It just said uh, yeah. And then, and then this one is guaranteed. Guaranteed next. Per perpendicular over there. Okay. We think we have figured everything out. Okay. So, uh, now, um, you have one crew, you have one navigation, and you have uh, one artillery. However, your two crew members no are on at port. <laughs> you need to resolve your business at port. Right. Which so means I think you're resolved. So now your guys come back to your ship. Sweet. They... Uh, I think they must be put in below deck, but I'll double check. check. Um, they may now continue their turn, provided they're for, uh, all crew that went to port are returned anywhere below deck. And the face-up Denzian card is discarded. They may now continue their turn, providing there are fresh issues, uh, fresh orders to issue. So, yeah, you can actually keep going. By... No, because I can only refresh three a turn, so I want full okay, action. Okay, you, you want full action. Especially now that I'm broke. <laughs> okay. So he's he's saying I'm gonna save the rest of my orders and I'm gonna uh, defer to either Joe or Alex. Yeah, I, I, I think Again, I did good for the There's team. no player order, so it could be anybody. Yeah. But I guess there is a player order because I've got the. Because you were first, so yeah, it's Alex. Like it all happened simultaneously, but I got my actions out of the way. I'm gonna start there. Look at this yes. big purple bitch. I've got a dude in the crow's nest. Yes. And how do I explore? Okay, which direction are you facing? That, that way. way. Okay, so this is the first time we're going to explore that way. Okay. And you know what? I'm here for it. <laughs> Exploring the map. Um, so you've got a dude. So you spent one, one um, crew order to get him in the crow's nest. Gotcha. And then uh, do you want to just move one? Do I just move? Because you could set things up where you can have multiple moves if you're putting your crew into a, you know, a navigation slot, an additional crew into a navigation slot. No, but no. Don't, I don't want to move into a tile that doesn't exist. Do we have to place a tile first? Cause I'm a you're going to be moving into a tile that does not exist. And I have to have a crow's nest person for that? You have to have a crow's nest person. Revealing new map tiles. Exploring the map is vital for progression, revealing new places to visit and rewarding players with clues. Each act has a limited number of map tiles that players can reveal, indicated by the act number. Once all map tiles of an act have been placed, players can discover no more of that map until the next act begins. To reveal a new map tile, which Alex is doing, a player ship must be facing into an empty map tile slot and have a crew manning the crow's nest on deck, which he does. Once these two requirements have been met, spending one navigation point reveals the new map tile. Two if they're in a rough seas hex space, you're not. It is immediately placed and the map tile's clue reward is collected. Yeah, so it, yeah, we don't, it doesn't move me into All this All right, spot. so you get two clues for revealing a new map tile. Let me tell you how we can orient that. Um, this does not automatically move them onto the new map tile. More navigation must be spent to do so. Map tiles are drawn in the ascending order of the new map tile. Okay. Uh, 
All right, go ahead and place it. You did? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so we've got some new uh, some new spaces here. Let's look at what these are. Uh, so there's an altar. Altars are unhallowed places that act as a beacon to the under God's servants. And until purged of scourges that inhabit them, they will forever make the waters around them dangerous. Altars exist in two states, active and purged. Mm. Um, so it's a bad guy spot. Um, <clears throat> Way to go. When you go there, you immediately, I think, get somebody that boards your ship, but. So do I, did I get two clues for exploring? Yes. That's yes, you did get two clues. Sweet. I didn't think I gave them to you, though. Yeah. Uh, what is the... Is that a shipwreck or an island? Island, it looks like. Yeah, it's an island. So there's another island. And then there's something with a symbol over there, huh? Mm-hmm. The symbol is enemy ship spawns. Calm sea space with this symbol means an enemy ship spawns here whenever one of these is revealed for the first time. Uh, oh, we've got a man. Get him, OJ. I'm going in the opposite direction. <clears throat> um, additionally, at the beginning of each act, an enemy ship will spawn at one of these chosen at random. Okay, that that ship will act once all of our turns are over. Got it. Got it. Hmm, I can go try to fuck that guy up. How much health does he have? We try to see what naval combat's like. Yeah. Thank you, Doc. I did it myself. Combat on deck. Uh, destroying enemies at sea. When a ship um, spawns, an enemy designation token is placed in its designation in Orion, and it is oriented to face it. Once placed, its designation remains until the enemy ship or sunk or reaches it. Or it reaches it. Enemy designation token. When an enemy ship is spawned, their card will indicate their destination, and these tokens are placed next to it. Cake toppers. Cupcake toppers. <laughs> Cupcake. Uh huh, here we are. These are Act 2. Act three. Okay. So one, two, three, four. I think there is four ship types. Yep. And then you shuffle them. We see what kind of ship it is and what its destination is. Where is the destination token? Here. Okay. So we're going to put that token somewhere. Okay, that ship is a ruinous galleon. Mm -hmm. It has two plus health plus a number of players, I think. Or two plus this weird symbol. Two plus one player? Uh, it, it rolls five dice. Um, yeah. Don't fuck with that. Don't 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 try to fuck with that. That was the biggest one that I could have drew. Fuck. Damn, damn, damn. Uh. <coughs> should we redraw? <laughs> okay. What it's what is its destination? Destination, furthest port. There's only one port available, so it's coming to Ray. Okay. Don't you put that leave on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> oh, good grief. Here comes a pearl necklace. Oh, I like jewelry. <laughs> I wonder if it comes with a golden shower. <laughs> Once placed, it, its destination remains until the enemy ship is sunk or it reaches it. 
And I think if it reaches it, um, and then the agenda advances to equal to the ship's remaining health. Uh-oh. Uh, so the agenda is going to advance a goddamn lot. And we just got kind of fucked over on that draw there. Um, I need to see what that symbol exactly means. If it's just one player or if that actual symbol means... Okay, the player count symbol. Whenever the symbol is seen, the player count increases the number before the plus by the number of players participating in the game. So six. It would move up six slots <sighs> on the player advancement. But remember... Uh, once it hits that, then then the thing moves, and then it resets, and then it goes, and then it, it resets. So if I put both of my dudes on cannons, so it w oh basically it will advance one because it's two plus the number of players. So it the track it has a total track of six. If he reaches that port, he and at full health, then that's six, and then the enemy would advance by one. So if I put both yes. my guys on cannons, sure, both how many would cannons. I roll? Well, unfortunately, the cannon slot is just, um, I don't think you're increasing the value of your cannon. Artillery. In order to fire the art ship's artillery, a crew must be present on the corresponding node. Okay. So, it and it doesn't stack like that. So, you're just firing the cannon in the corresponding node. So, what is your gun? This? This? Yes. It's just one to one and what is the port starboard? Yeah, it's bow stern. Bow or stern. So you can only shoot in a straight line ahead of you. You would need to put one of your guys in the bow or the stern, yeah. and then it would fire one. One. And that's fine, because you can do some, some damage to it, uh, and you can fire up to two away. Um, yeah, you can fire up to two away. I, I mean, you, I can... Destroying enemies once and... Because hmm. you can only fire once because you only have one artillery token. Mm-hmm. Yeah, too bad you couldn't come to town and buy some more cannons yeah. and shit. Because <laughs> I know you guys are all about the firepower. Well, firepower and ramming. <laughs> so I already know where he's going. Sail three right into this bitch. That's my icon. <laughs> the ram. Um, nah. Enemy ship behavior is dependent on whether a player ship is in engagement range when it activates. So it will use its movement results to attempt to position itself to fire upon its target. Each damage result destroys one node. Any spare movement results are used to head for the destination avenue. So basically, we just drew the you know a thing that kind of fucks the game. Like you do it sometimes in betrayal. Just stay the far away from that guy. Let him go to port. Or we could take pot shots at him now, reducing his health and thus reducing the number that he achieves in enemy advancement when he reaches port. But he is going to be firing. Uh, so he's going to orient himself uh, where he's facing uh, east-west, and then he can fire in all of these areas. Damn, I'm not side. really sure why uh, there's X's. X, X, X. We fucked. We go, Alex. You're welcome. <laughs> I think you're welcome. <laughs> well, that's why I'm just going to go the... Uh, X's. Oh, X's that, uh, so X's. actually, he, he, he's got a little blind spot right there. You can only fire in those those uh, one areas that have the X's, and the X corresponds to him rolling five dice. Oh. All right, OJ, time to turn his brown eye blue. Okay, well, he only activates <laughs> once no we've O's. all gone. So, all right, I'm going to explore here. You're going to uh, say what? I'm going to explore right here. Okay, and then you spent a um, navigation. He spent another navigation, which would turn his ship, and then um, re reveal. So this is going to give us one clue to the person that did it. So you got that. I'm engorged with clues. And it's mm. kind of a shitty fucking uh, open sea shipwreck. Shipwreck though. Shipwrecks give you loot and shit. Ram it. 
<laughs> How do you think it got you there? You have to spend another one to go there. Or move her to a, one of those? Yes. Spend one of these? Move, okay. Well, um, I think that actually only increases the speed by one. Let me double check whether you can use it like that as well. Like, can I spend? Can I move her so, first? So, uh, move moves the ship, generates a base of one navigation point plus one additional point for every crew. So, actually, you're only able to move twice every turn, and then depending <laughs> on if you have crew on the nodes, you'll go faster. So, unfortunately, you won't be able to go to the shipwreck yet. Okay. Okay. Is that your turn? Yep. Okay, Joe. Yo ho. Uh oh. We're slowly Full learning. Full sail. <laughs> Chips ahoy. <laughs> <laughs> Choose one of those, and you're facing in a direction to reveal, right? Yep. And I am would going. Would you like to reveal? Wait, if I. This one starts here, right? Yeah. yeah. So they both okay, start so in your uh, below deck. Token. If I move them over here. Uh, so first things first, you if you're going to do an exploration, you have to spend an order, to a crew order token to get somebody in the yeah, crow's right. nest. Okay. Now Let's you can it. legally uh, move into an hour, spend a navigation. Okay. And you want to go this direction? Yep. Okay. And then uh, we will put that. So you will get one clue. One. For, yeah. For you got two less, son. Well, I got one we're, less we're son. getting shitty well, fucking spots. First, this son. next one is two, so there must be cooler shit All there. All right, well, I'm going to explore the other side. <sighs> All right, so it looks like a shipwreck is all up there, and an island is right there, yo. So it's actually not too bad. Not too bad, yo. Okay, I'm going to explore Okay. that one. Well, hold on. So in or so now, in order to get here, you need to give me two uh, speed value. No, he wants to get a tile. Another tile. He's, he's going to use the crow's nest like yeah. I did and get. Two. Oh, you're going to come. You're going to. Yeah, I'm just going to try to get clues right now. Okay, so spend your second navigation, and what that does yeah. is it it can orient you one. Ram the wind. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because maybe Alex will have been able to move. Because remember, is it a special thing when you're navigating? You, you read that I don't move. Okay, I read that you don't move. Let's double check. Yeah, because yeah, you're right. It's a you know you're spending to kind of reveal. Nice model. That's a reveal. His name is Ray. Once these two requirements are immediately yeah, placed, I mean, this does not before. automatically move them into the new map tile. More <laughs> navigation OG? must be spent. What do you model? Clubs? So all you're doing, Joe, is you're revealing the next one. You're not you're not going to yeah. be able to move into it. Correct. Okay. So this is a two. So you're getting two clues. Oh yeah, two more. So now you have. Last time I got two five. clues of giant bad guy spawn. I hope this guy spawns. <laughs> in. It is an altar right next ah, to you. Ah, nothing. And Ooh, a bunch gobby, of garbage. Gobby. So there's two islands. You found a, a flotilla of garbage. Congrats. The flotsam and jets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe, is your turn over? I believe. Wait, actually, I didn't use him, so. Yeah, but you can't move anymore or explore. Mm -hmm. No, because it says uh, plus one strain suffered when finishing a turn on deck. Oh, he's not on deck. Okay. He's not on, that's below he's deck. He's below. The one of the right. crow's nest is. Yep, uh, that's about it. All right, bad guys. Let's see what bad guys do. Okay, so that is the end of a first player turn. I It was very slow, but I think like once we've gone to all the spots, we kind of know what, what's up now. And we each so the second one turn should thing, be able so. to go a little bit uh, faster. Um, but let's do the enemies first. Hit the Nas. Hit the Nas. <laughs> tell you. I look back and see a hurricane. He what do the enemies do? Acceleration. Well, we roll the fate dice and we move the storms. So uh, I'll roll the fate die. Give me the green die. There it is. Yar, batting down the hatches. It is a two. Yarg. And what do we do on that orders? <laughs> <laughs> is it two a good thing or is it two a bad thing? We shall find out. It's a good change. Hey. I like no, it. No, sir. I, I don't like, like it. it. <laughs> Where's look for? Um, I don't know the the reference to what happens. Who does fate, a chip seeking? Die. General is is that on your um, enemy quick during the enemy phase? Advanced yes. enemy agenda 
plus two player count. Whenever enemy ag agenda reaches 10, advance enemy discovery one. No, you're doing. Roll the fate dice and move storms. Enemies on deck activate. Nobody has enemies on deck. Enemies at sea activate. That's when we activate that big fucking galleon. Ugh. Then we advance the agenda two plus four. So we advance the agenda six. Then we pass the first player token counterclockwise. But first we have to roll the fate die and move the storms. So let me get to that point because I think I saw it earlier in the rule book. Roll the fate We're die finding out storms. now. I would say more than five minutes in less than three years. If you want to get technical. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> All Storms depends are on your crew. Uh, their spawn at dead. Increasing <laughs> spawning and controlling stores. At the beginning of Acts 2, 3, and 4, a storm will spawn. Okay. During each enemy phase, the fate dice is rolled to see how the storms in play move. So that's what that is referring to. So there's no storms, so we don't roll the fate dice. The three storms? Instead, enough for me. we advance the agenda. <laughs> two plus so one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, good grief. It's at seven. God damn. It needs to get to ten. No, it doesn't. And then it will move. It needs it to die. One. <laughs> All right, so we're good. Um... Hobbs had never watched Big Trouble Little China. So we now, watched it Ray, you go first. Oh, no, no. Bad guys. We need to do the bad guys. No, no, so. no, no. I like the other way better. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> all right. So, sinking enemy ship. So, it's going to. It will use its movement results to attempt to position itself to fire upon its target. Um, so, that would mean that it comes into this space and it is going to fire at both Alex. And Ray, Oof. but Alex has managed to get lucky and orient his ship in a way where it's uh, it's blind to Alex. And I guess that's because it, since it's a ruinous galleon, that part of its cannons are broken or something. And so it's only going to be firing at Ray, which when we organize it like that, John Cena? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he can't see Alex. He could see Ray. So, unfortunately, Sorry, Ray. Ray, you... I Alex? hope you don't die because... You know, that makes two of them. That's <laughs> five <laughs> fucking dice? That's crazy. Um, each damage result destroys one node. Any spare movement results are used to head for the destination after resolving the damage results. So, they're... Here oh. it comes. Okay, here we go, Ray. Sorry. Oh, that does not look good. I don't understand any of these results. All right, so we've got uh, Squiggly Doos are omens. Activates the enemy special abilities. You got two Squiggly Doos. Oh, come on. And then you got three moves. <laughs> okay, Squiggly Doos. Um, luckily, there is no special. Mm, uh, abilities on these so those are blanks and then he just moves three times you oh, thank God. he fucking misses you no damage results they are the triangles well, isn't it this one over here shut up really? what <laughs> oh wait a minute they're converting enemy dice conversion two identical enemy results that aren't relevant to the situation automatically convert to one result that is relevant to the situation yeah miss so, <laughs> oh okay. Um, so two hits. So first Damn off, it, there's how many movements? Hey, I was just trying there to play the game right. <laughs> two movements. There are three movements, right? <laughs> and then but there are said. two omens. <laughs> and then two omens. So the two omens actually convert into a single damage. OJ. And then yeah, the misses do as well. Wait till I get you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, those were <laughs> the moves. Since when? <laughs> the moves don't. The moves are relevant. We've already. Moved, which means it'll move. The ship moves the remainder three, and <laughs> it reaches the objective, and then advances the track. So, you got hit once, Ray. So I'm Oof. curious. Rolled by the player to avoid incoming damage to crew <gasps> and ships. Yeah. Rolled by the player when attempting to deal damage to crew and artillery. So I'm wondering, do you get a chance to evade, or does this guy just like shoot you for free? Let me look that up. It's for free. 
You think it's so for free? Queen. Sometimes I wear the stretchy sails. <laughs> it's for fun. <laughs> Does he hit me? Not sure. Yeah, Minecraft, that's pretty much how every game goes. I'm on the opposite side. There's a noise all in the right, room. I throw in Ray and lock the door. Yeah. <laughs> I am in the opposite side, all right? I'm trying to get away from everyone. That way I don't get blamed, but still getting blamed. <laughs> you should have shot more. <laughs> yeah, so that actually destroys one of your nodes, Ray. Um, so put this in one of the black areas of your ship so that you don't have to lose anything valuable. So apparently you can get hit three times before it starts to fuck up your ship, blub, and you blub, can take blub. ten hits before you die, and the game, I think, loses if one of us die. It's okay, I just got to get back and repair as okay. soon as we sink this bitch. So, but He's done. He's the here. enemy has uh, uses the rest of its movement that it rolled to reach the destination, Shit. thus advancing the enemy track by uh, the amount of health remaining, which was six. So we're at seven. One, two, three. Advance the enemy track by one. Oh. Can you advance him? So one, two, three. And then we go back to one. That's it. One, two, three. Four, five, six. He's Wait, doesn't it say anything extra is wasted? <laughs> mm, did it? Or are you just making that up? No, I thought it said, or is that just for us? I think that's for us. Uh, okay, I but I'll so, double so check. I thought it meant once it went past the track, it wouldn't carry over. Mm -hmm. But again, it's always one way to check it out. I'll, I'll check just, it. Just trying to be sure. I mean, if I'm going to die, I'm going to take this bitch with me because he advanced my story anyhow. All right, but it's your turn, Ray. Uh, well, I know. That's why I want to see what triggers on my story before I go. This may help influence what happens. I'm not sure what you're saying. No, it's your turn. Because he moved. That that, that only triggers oh, the phase moving over. Now the next. we do. If you do something that draws a story, you get to draw your story. Okay. Well, I got no money, so I gots to go. <laughs> I gots to go. <laughs> well, there's uh, an altar. There's a. Uh, yeah, but I don't know if I can make uh, it there. You yeah, know. you almost turned me into a shipwreck. You shut your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Alex is the one who spawned it, though. It was him. I didn't do anything. I'm, like, on the opposite side. Doing nothing. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Streamer. I think they hit you. <laughs> Playing by the rules. <laughs> Since <laughs> when? Someone already asked that question. You have yet to answer. <laughs> <laughs> Since today. Oh, I could kill Ray? Do it! <laughs> You, nope, that you know how it goes. If you just go back to port, do you trigger the the story? Well, I have to gamble, but I've got no money. No, oh, no, because you don't have to bring that guy there. You can bring another dude. Go to port? And what, if, if he goes if, to port, he's not triggering any story. Dude. Oh, this. what was the free story from last time? That card that you're pointing at is different from the port card. So this is a Desian card. That's the first story bit that he oh, got. Oh, so he just needs Now to he's do, on a journey. So I need to do something to specifically to for that. island in order to draw that card. Then that will continue the story because the cave will be at that particular island. That so do I try to push for first, these islands? Do I go to the altar? First, refresh three tokens. Yeah, I mean, I'm bringing all three yeah, yeah. of these guys back. Just so we... Okay. So now you can move to the altar if you want. Um... Do we do what we do best? Do we desecrate an altar? I'm, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> you know what? Nothing says loving like blasphemy. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's go, boy. All right. So you, I would spend one navigation and one uh, crew because, yeah, that, that, that'll that do that. And then you can move straight to an altar. Mm -hmm. And you go two, two. Make sure you're, yeah, yeah, you're bringing the the one that's better on the. Well, those go down. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's for the. Yeah. To show that we've actually done it, that we've issued the orders. And then yeah, we just have to figure okay, out how to. Okay, what will happen? Yeah, that'll go there. And this guy will be the one to take care of it because he's the six on the uh, island action. Got it. So this guy will. He's going to go to the altar. Okay, wait, wait a minute. You're, you're doing an altar one? Yeah. You know that's like, uh, okay. Uh, I'm an altar boy. That will immediately spawn enemies on your on your, <sighs> oh. on your ship. 
Well, I, I said uh, like that a long time ago, where the altar ones are more aggressive, and moving through harder. rough seas costs one additional. Cost an extra movement. Yeah, it costs double the movement. Yeah, one extra. You could just use one more crew token and end up on the island, and, and not do, do the, the altar island instead. And do the island instead. Yeah, because I need to put out this. I need to find a way to repair the damage. I could probably do that yeah, if I go yeah. back to port next yeah. turn. So just do that. Spend one more crew token, which will let you move one additional spot. Okay. Yeah. And then now you can do, go on your little dinghy adventure. All right, so who's reading the story for player to his left? I am. Okay, so he goes on his adventure, which when he explores the say pray for me, Chet. Uh, thing, then he draws a expedition card. Players do not have to launch an expedition if they don't want to launch an expedition. All crew occupying dinghy. Or if not, we finna one. fight. Draw an expedition card and test the crew by rolling the fake dice. So draw an expedition card. Done. That we was the story that he was so doing. Yeah, we, we read this one. So re read it again. Okay. Uh, the forlorn patron story was in part a confessional. Its telling seemed to alleviate a portion of the guilty carried. He and another had headed for an unfrequented isle to dabble in forces they ought not to, and the result had yes. dire consequences for yep. one of them. Then the cave hung the patron's companion aloft, yet no ropes kept them from the ground. From their whole body emanated a crimson light that made torches redundant in the pitch black, and the damnable book lay where the patron had abandoned it. You make ready to read the crucial patch, uh, passages. Read from the book. Read from the book. What does it say to draw? Uh, advance Agenda 3 and 97. Ow. Advance Agenda 3? Yeah. What's that part of it? But draw, draw, read from the book. Advance Agenda 3 and 97. So I need to understand what advanced agenda is. Is that enemy agenda or is it our agenda? Is it what are the the fucking terminology agenda? And so this I don't think you I even read for you because I think this goes over the act under the active story thing, and then you have to get to a story thing before it goes over to that thing. Right, so you're reading from the book, which actually does bad. One, two, three, it advances the enemy agenda. That's what that's And then, then that card goes wherever. This one goes on uh, into yeah. there. That's your ongoing story. And this goes over there. And this should be the epilogue, right? Yeah, that's correct. Perfect. <laughs> and then that will go, no, blue. Oh, John, don't think uh, so well, it doesn't go there until we get to a story icon. <clears throat> Oh, it goes under the story card. It goes card. under the story card, and then when we get to a story icon, then it does the thing to... Okay, got it. If we're playing that right. Yeah. I think so. The, 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 the description seems... Uh, the example seemed pretty... So in order to get to a story icon, we have to do what? Four is the next story So we icon. need to turn in ten clues? Ten clues, or do something that just does it, yeah. OJ and I are both, are both close to... To turn I have three. Them. He has three. So, and I only need four. Okay, not a problem. All right. I um, need six. So keep going, Ray. If if you can, I'm not sure what you've done and what you're gonna do. So he is now on an island. Miss <laughs> uh, <coughs> Scarlet, thank you for gifting us. Uh, <laughs> so now that he's already done the island and done this, he doesn't get to do anything else on the island, right? Oh jeez. <laughs> You, he's he's interacted with the island. So yeah. it's done. Let me double check. Terrible terrorist. Thank you so much for gifting our sub as well. Terrible is <laughs> right. It's a terrible rule book is what it is. <laughs> Fucking launch. Okay, when a passenger. Um, launching an expedition. Draw an expedition card. Test the crew. Uh, result equal to or lower than the crew's success. Resolve the outcome and mark the island with an explore token. But see, that's when you launch an expedition you and you do the test and you succeed on me? it. No. Do you also mark it as explored when you do a story? I mean, it was. I did read from the expedition deck, so I imagine so. Because you you are, you know. Parmesan let's, let's Let's say so. Okay. So Boy. put that on the uh, island, uh, Ray. Yeah, man. Come to me. Uh, that's not true, Princess. <laughs> it's all true. It's true. Okay. Uh, who's next? Or, uh, Ray, are you able to continue doing things that you'd like to do, depending um, on your How orders? do I repair my ship? 
Alex I have will to do that at, at the port. The, the port, yeah. So it has to be. Okay, then I can't wait and do that next time. I need to secure our first. Yeah. Okay, then on my turn, I'm going to refresh these three tokens. I'm going to leave that guy there. I'm going to use my navigation to go to port. I'm going to use my second navigation with my guy still in the crow's nest to explore that area. You get one. Uh, so put, put the crew back on your ship. We're actually not supposed to move the crew miniatures because they'll, they'll start oh. to lose track of Sorry. them. Um, so I think that goes back to the anywhere ding -ding. below deck. Yeah, anywhere below deck. Uh, what would you say? So I have now moved to the port. Uh, and the first thing that I'm going to do in the port uh -huh. is I'm exploring that token that away. So exploring that token like that that away. I I'm exploring that away. Oh, right. You're revealing a new map tile. Yeah. Okay. So um, uh, one one free clue. Excellent. And then I will place this. It is a bunch of fucking open space. And one additional port. Got it. Not that great, unfortunately. All right, I'm gonna use my my thing to send my lady into the the port on the dinghy. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Uh, you're you're not at port. Are you gonna move to the port first? I'm at the port. He's on the port. You're at a port. Yeah. Holy shit! There's another port. Okay. Uh, so I I go into the port. Mm -hmm. So, which port, uh, port, port, which port, port. then we draw the Desian Desian card here and, OJ and see read what to me. there is. What do we get? Uh, huh. I'm not sure. Read to me. Read every Notice aspect board. of the card. Nice. Notice board incident from the time from time to time the locals will post their requests here for any entrepreneur so to undertake. Test is uh, the building. Got it. What? I'm te test. testing. <laughs> test. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. I didn't know From time to time, the logos will post the joke. request. So you do your test on uh, test your port value. So he needs to have the fate dice. And he's uh, you roll on guy. the green screen. Five or zero. I win. Hey. You pass. Draw one passenger and one labor. Uh, you, he draws a passenger and one. Labor? Yep. L labor? Yeah, I'm pregnant. I don't, don't know about labor. Totally pregnant. I mean, <laughs> okay, so here's your passenger. It's a, it's a token. Uh, and you can put it in your passenger slot. And one, give me the card so I could see. Labor. One labor. Hmm. Uh, let me go look what the fuck a labor is. I thought that was OJ's stage name. Manuel Labor. <laughs> well, man. That's my song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Soggy Bottom Boy. There's no labor. Well, <laughs> you don't get it, Alex. Sorry. Ain't this place a geological oddity? Two weeks from everywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, there is no labor. <laughs> that movie was so fucking underrated. Uh, it's not like a contract? Is there not like a labor contract or something? Like, what does this passenger do? Was it Starbucks? Yeah, <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up. Like, what are these? It's oh, my union are, card. Still touch commodities. <laughs> what is this? It's a schematic. What is this? I don't want fop, goddammit. I'm a dapper dad, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean to be telling tales out of school. There's a man out there who's singing to your can for $10. <laughs> Aloysius Gagne. It looks like X. a leftover fucking name from something that they changed the name of. One labor. Whatever. Do you have anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Because uh, if not, then uh, Joe's going to go, and I'm going to hand you the book, and you see if you can Yeah, I need later. to go to the university. So that's the first thing. That, so after I do my, my silly thing, my, my person is actually going to the university. I'm going to turn in four clues, which is the number of clues that she needs to mm. advance our, our dealie. Okay. Yeah, put in a pile over there. Because So advance she's us astute. on the track by one. My guy is ignorant. 
So he's he ignoring is, what? <laughs> <laughs> so he is not going. And then the university, the all that's all it does is it moves us up. I don't get anything else cool. That's no. Fine. That's fine. Can I go to the shipwreck, right? See what's there. I wonder if labor turned into strain at one point. I don't know. Uh, this will probably be in the FAQ that I'll have to look up online. Car thief is Denzians selling and souls. passengers. To take on a passenger, collect the passenger card and place it in the shipboard's passenger slot. Then place a pass hold passenger card. You mean a passenger token? There's nine passenger tokens. No, we played Glorious Day in the Core. We didn't play the hunting <laughs> Alien versus Predator. So no. Listen. Listen. Yeah. Collect. Oh, I guess you collect a passenger card because most of the yeah, time the cards are actually going to be a passenger. This was in the case <laughs> it was a uh, notice board. So give Joe that he or give Alex that he will slot it into the passenger card slot of the board and he actually takes the passenger token and puts the passenger token in your cabin slot. What, what am I doing with this motherfucker? <laughs> he wants a free ride. A ship must have a cabin to take on a passenger and cannot send crew to that effect space while the passenger is on board. It's fine. Draw one passenger and one labor. Exactly. There's what do no, you do the, with them? There's no normally card. a car. Normally the card will tell you. Yeah, there's not like a place that says like there's not a, a passenger deck. No, it says put it in your cabin. Then place the passenger token in the in an available effect space of a cabin to represent the space they occupy while aboard your vessel. You can upgrade your cabins. There's it's called like a, a ship's uh, something and et cetera, et cetera, where you can have multiple space. When arriving at a passenger's destination, their card and token are removed. Players may talk, take on as many passengers as they like. Because normally... Yeah, there, there should be a passenger deck or a passenger card right, somewhere. Right, exactly. Um, I'm looking Because that's what I think the, the labor deck was. Like the, It's like, hey, labor. take me to fucking this port, and then we're good. But there is no... Here's a passenger. Anis Wareham. Reward. Two clues and 25 coins. The sooner you can get me to Festerberry, the better. This town and I are no longer seeing eye to eye, and the sooner we depart, the better. Festerberry is where she wants to go. I, I assume that it just... Okay. Well, I'm in uh, Festerberry. Well, then, fuck it. We're, I'm going to give you the top passenger card. Got it. And... And then, yeah. Excellent. I will uh, give you her. <laughs> and I would like my two clues and 25 coin, please. <laughs> Silly passenger. You're already here. <laughs> Kicks it for trees. Take me away. <laughs> Where? Anywhere. Well, you're here. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, OJ, it is your turn. Remember, no matter where you go, <coughs> you I'm going to go check out. <laughs> I'm going to go check out the shipwreck. See what the fuck that's about. At home? So that's where you feel the most comfortable pooping. <laughs> Denzian cards are unique Set interactions those. and events that randomly change this each time a player. Here. Alternative labor and incident cards function like just like other locations by requiring crew interaction with the exception being the passenger cards. So th that's the first time the rulebook mentions labor and incident cards. Maybe the, the these labor. Okay, that's what's up. Okay, got it. Um, so it said draw one passenger. So I get I drew a passenger. Here's your labor. Research assistant... Research assistant. There's a labor. Got it. So the this specimen has the potential to advance my studies greatly. Two things you should know before we begin. The first is that it's not quite dead yet. The second, well, it's also quite pissed off. 
suffer three trauma, and you can distribute those amongst your crew as you like, and then collect two crew, two clues. Say, just Man, fuck that. that. <laughs> okay. So she was basically research research assistant. Annis where so the cards link up. So she was research assistant Annis Wareham. She Anus. wanted to go to Festerberry, but uh, it just so happened that Alex was already at Festerberry, so he got lucky there, mm -hmm. and he just dropped her right off. I made off. sure I took care of that anus. But you do have to suffer <laughs> it's a three well trauma. Well-serviced anus. It's my duty to pleasure that booty. Say, mm Cartos, -hmm. thank you so much, and thank you for watching the Madden review. Okay, so I reset all mine. Uh, this guy's going to go over here so I can get a little extra boost. Does it your turn? Yes. Okay. <coughs> all right, so Alex's turn is over, and See. Joe's turn is beginning. Man, Joe the bitch. <laughs> went two spaces. How did you go two spaces? Navigation. And, and you had a crew. guy on the ropes. Yes. Okay. Uh, what would you like to do now? Uh, can I explore the shipwreck, or is not not really anything there? Treasures. Treasures. Do not seek the treasure. I'm ready to go. <laughs> what are you talking about? Did you just say treasures because Alex said treasures? He's on a shipwreck. That's where you get treasures. Oh, you're on a shipwreck. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm going to go to the shipwreck. Well, me and you was fixing the porn again. <laughs> All right. Um, Don't look at me like that. Shipwrecks. Tales, the tales behind many vessels' demises are often forever lost to the waves. But that does not mean that another savvy captain cannot retrieve what is left behind. Should a player find themselves on a shipwreck space, they are rewarded with one spoils table roll for plundering the wreckage. And an explored token is placed on the shipwreck. Spoils roll. Joe, roll the d10 and I'll tell you what you won. <gasps> Fabulous cash and prizes. You rolled a five. Crabs again. Nothing. Ah, uh, let's see Absolutely here. You nothing. are fired. <laughs> <laughs> but wise men say, it never rained every day. <laughs> you are fired. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, it, this is not uh, the fifth element. So what you actually got is, <gasps> that's pretty sweet. You got a relic treasure, Surprise. Joe. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, that's, that's one of the better results. So where's the treasure deck? It is, um, the treasure deck looks like 29 cards. It's blue with fancy, uh, it's the very top one, yeah. So give the whole deck to me. Ooh, god damn. Because we will have to search for a relic treasure, the first relic treasure. Is there an estate tax? <laughs> rum. Ooh. Precious <laughs> stones. Why is the rum gold? Bitch. Bitch. Rum. Oh, hopefully, dude. <laughs> ah, relic treasure. There's my captain. Come here, Mr. Prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Trinket. Trinket. Shanty. Are they in here? Relic. So, uh, oh, no. Is it cursed? <laughs> it's a cursed, it's a cursed idol, pearl. it says. But that might actually, who knows? It might be good. It's just a cursed idol. Here, put that treasure cards back. Let's see what Joe got. So, aboard this ship that he did, he got a cursed idol. Banish all enemies on deck and yeah. do not advance the agenda. Nice. So, you at any time, you can use this. You would have to discard it to use that effect, though. Otherwise, this is worth five clues if you <laughs> turn it into the university, put it on display in a museum. Also, it could be worth 30, uh, what do you call it? 30, 30 coins. And I think it's 25 coins at Dustfall and 40 coins at Blightwater. You it's should go fuck up an altar, and then when you summon all the idiots to your, your deck, you just fuck them, them up and yeah. steal their, their, their loose change. No, but I'm trying to only one is, one is spawned when you go to a altar. But it's powerful, right? What's powerful? The, the bad guy you spawn? No, not necessarily. It, it just spawns. We we draw from the enemy deck, the top card from the enemy deck. I think you. I mean, you've got 
an advancement right here if you turn this into the university. So how many advancements do we need? A million. Um, we just need to get. We all have way. to get to the end of the track. There was a short game was eight, uh, and then there's a medium game twelve, and then the long game is 16. I think sixteen. Because I'm about to advance it again on my next turn. Well, you know what uh -huh. we gotta do. Okay. Give it a loop. That's give it a loop. pretty sweet. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you, Joe. Man, you're the you're the pirate captain that just. I won't advance, so I'll just do that. <clears throat> okay, I'm also gonna. Ex so, I think you put it in your hold. Well, you can hold. have yeah, three things in your hold at once. So when you get when you grab treasure, it goes in your hold, Joe. Key men are looking into it. Oh, key men. <laughs> All right. What else? Okay. Is that it? Nope. Uh, I'm starting to click with the game. It's just a fucking and rule I'm book. And I'm going to explore <laughs> over here. <gasps> yes, sir. Look at you. You're grabbing two uh, clue tokens for exploring. Man, <laughs> I feel like I'm fucking exploring. <laughs> <laughs> shit, man. I ain't done shit. Uh, looks Maybe. like there's another shipwreck right there's next two. to you, Joe. Look at this some bitch. I know. I mean, good job, cool Joe. Shit. <laughs> I ain't done shit. I went. I, Not a I, thing, I, sir. I did an exposition <laughs> twice. I got shot. And I failed twice. <laughs> so you and me, we're the I'm, best. No, I'm playing meat shield. I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing my part. All right. Okay, done. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. I went to so go find uh, buried treasure and explored. So that's the end of right. No, because you, you were supposed you, to have this yeah, token. You, now I get to do some shit. Finally. Get um, I'm still on this fucking unexplored island because I failed twice. So, oh, I forgot, to get, charm. I forgot to get three back. So I get three back. Yeah, right? this is your second turn because you got skipped last round because of the way the turn structure works. So that's why you haven't done anything. Okay. S right, but... Once the enemy phase is over and we begin the player phase, everybody refreshes their orders. You don't wait to refresh your order oh, until Oh, that's your right, because we all go yeah, simultaneously. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I didn't do that. But here's the question. What, yes. what do we do with this? That stays there, because the island is now completed. You can okay. enter that island again. All right. Okay, so, we had so five if we come over to my tableau, uh, I have my two guys on deck, because they've just finished killing the goddamn cursed oh. one that showed up there. So... I would need to do a crew order in order to get them uh, to get one of them to go on to an expedition. Let's get the other guy to go because he is uh, negative one to fate die results when engaging in services. That doesn't do any. So he's a four or below. So he'll go into the dinghy <laughs> and the dinghy send a crew on an expedition. Um. So, draw me an exposition expedition card. This guy get a good one. Yeah. And read it. Hmm. The sight before you is both phenomenal and inexplicable. A monolithic dreadnought sits within a clearing, placed as if some colossal creature had plucked it from the sea and gently rested upon the land. Hmm. Such a find is sure to hold glorious secrets. Test! Fuck. Use your right, island. Give me the, that test die right there. Is it boxes or uh, it's island? Island. Yeah, I've got a four or below and I, I succeed on a d10. Oh, I thought you rolled on and succeed. I was about to say, oh, shit. Right, rolling a fate die. What's the point in bringing multiple crew? Doesn't seem to be a point. Oh, uh, here we go. 50 50. Yeah. Yay! Scaling the ship to colossal effort, but the intriguing articles within are a just reward. Oh, shit. Look at that. What do I get? What do I get? Advance two. Wait a minute. No, two treasure? What is we don't know what symbol that is. It's either a treasure nope, symbol or an advanced two symbol. Of I think it's two treasures. And then I get story s number 78, Joe. Spoils reward. The number of rolls on the spoils table. I get two rolls on the spoils table. 
I'm digging it. Put this in the discard pile. Yep, yep, yep. So that goes under the active story thing. Yeah. Put it under this. And I Dagon has get to two rolls. Beneath the waves, he waits for you. So uh, two spoils. Here we go. First spoil is, is that a two? Yes. I get two clues. Blues clues. And second spoils roll. Nine? Nine. Ten coin. <laughs> Ka-ching. Ka-ching. Cool. You know, the ship could use some uh, more cannon. And the X marks the <laughs> well, spot on the island. Uh, yes, and now that, thank you, thank you. Two down. So this island is now explored. It did, is did. clear. And uh, what we do now is... Let's go to port. Is there a free port? Yeah, uh, no. That guy, uh, Alex is at one port. The next port is way over yeah, here. Or over one, there one, by two, OJ. Three, or one, two, three by OJ. I'm going to go to the one, two, three by OJ. Son of a bitch. And I'll have to move a guy here, and I'll have to move a guy here. That's two of these to get them to move. And then the exploration token, or the navigation token to actually move. And then, how do you send your guy to port? They need, you have to move them into the dinghy and then. But that's, the dinghy is for, it says expedition on it, right? The dinghy actually reads re expedition. What is? <laughs> All right. So I think as long as you're adjacent, you can just move them into port. Yeah. Arriving into port. Um, yeah, you just go. You just make it there. Ports. Each crew may be sent to a location in port to engage in its services, and most importantly, turn in clues to advance player discovery. So once you get into the port, you don't have to put them on uh, the dinghies. Okay. Yeah, so it, we, we kind of were fucking that up previously with um, Ray's turn and my turn, wasting crew actions getting there. So uh, both of my crew can now go to port. Um, and then we go to the port uh, board. And first thing, when you go to port, you draw one of these cards and see what it is. It's a miracle tonic incident. S oh, uh, who's my reader? Me. Joe. That's Ray. No, right? it's Ray. Ray's my reader. You also immediately get five gold. <laughs> what? Doesn't your guy immediately get five gold? Correct. Oh. He is uh, prosperous. Step right up and try this, my good fellow. One <laughs> sip and you'll be ready to take on the world. Oh, okay. Buy it, whatever it is. Uh, put it. Yes. What? What else? Is, is it, it a test? Oh yeah. shit! It's a test port. Okay. Well, I guess I'll drink it. Sure. I have wares. If you have a coin, you don't drink until you pay me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Seven. See, that's why you don't steal. <laughs> shit. That means well, a no. Fail? There's no fail condition. Pass. You just recover all trauma and stress. Okay, but no, no <laughs> fail. So I'm like, I didn't do shit. Well, you still stole a tasty swig of my I beverage. <laughs> cool. I like it. All right. Godless um, heathen. <laughs> um, I have a lot of money, so let's turn in clues. And I'm I'm wondering if it's worth even upgrading your ship. So twenty, thirty. 40, 50. You only need 30. I can get, oh, I only need 30. Let's turn in 30 to get three clues. That was my first guy comes over here to listen to whispers. And my second guy uh, then goes to the university to turn in five clues to advance this one. Got it. Give me all the active stories. So now, that's when that thing fires off. The active stories, here's a C, and here's a uh, purple. Give me the purple. That goes in the Desian thing. Okay. And... Yeah. That's it. 
Uh, then my crew comes back to my ship and any of my below deck slots. And my turn is over. So I go. <coughs> no enemies? Spawn? No. I go. I go. I go. Wait. Yeah, so we do the enemy turn first. Yeah. So you'll go after the enemy turn, right? Um. I'm a Hufflepuff. Who said that? I can't. Fate die. I can't. They're just lactose. But there's no I'm storm, so there's no fate die. God damn it. This milk is too spicy. I once opened the jar all by myself. Enemies on deck. I Enemies cut my at hand sea. Up really bad. Advance the agenda. Six, uh, six. One, two, three, four. Advance enemy. Um, no advance enemy. Five, six. Okay. All right. Well, those uh, the enemies are at our heels here, nibbing at our heels. They're doing their thing <laughs> while we're doing our thing. Alex, go. Uh, what's how do I heal my my dudes? Heal your dudes. And you port. can go. I'm, I'm in port. To port. I'm uh, in port. You've got an apothecary, which is backstreet medicine. Uh -huh. backstreet Five boys. coin to recover all trauma, but then you roll on the fate dice, and you can discard your positive trait. You can suffer one strain, or nothing happens. Or you can actually go to the wounds tended bone set. Ten coins to recover all trauma. For all people? Or just the person who's there, probably, right? The person that's there. Uh... I got plenty of money, so she's gonna go there. I will spend ten money, and then all of her her two traumas go away. I'd say just recover three trauma because had you known the game and known, then you probably would have put all trauma on yeah. one, right? Yeah. So let's just recover three trauma, and then uh, he's going to the university. I'm right. going to spend my four clues to advance our clue thing. Okay, so you went to the university and to the bone mending. Gotcha. Okay, and we advanced one. Good. <coughs> um, by going to port, do I get a... I just went to port immediately. Should I have drawn this first? Oh, so if you went to port, we draw this. Okay, we'll do that. So uh, we go, we draw this, which is... Hey, it's the card. It was the journey. Um, and then who's, whose was this? Number 78? That was yours, right? Yes. Whose story is it? Let's no, see. epilogue. E epilogue should be his. Or did you already finish yours? No, I've only done two so far. Oh. 96 and 97. That's yours then, Alex. Oh, okay. Right? Because you're on on an ongoing story. I have no ongoing story. Yes, you should. Because uh, remember... Was it you? No. Um, it was... I think it was you. I think it was you. Notice board isn't a story. That's the, that's the thing I had. Yeah. yeah I might have to finish mine. Have. But mine went from 96 to 97. I don't know why I would jump back to Oh, yeah, yeah. Who was reading my thing then? Yeah. This Ray. is this okay, is Ray. Ray. So, no, no, no. You, don't, you, read, you read that for him. Ah. Okay. Read that card for me. <laughs> hmm. I wish they just put it on a clear background so I could read this shit yeah. better. Whilst aboard well, the Maroon's the Red Knot, here, one of your more talented companions had the foresight to make detailed illustrations of the vessel's architecture. They assumed that the right hands would be able to emulate the ship's rare qualities after slowing it for so many of Propex craftsmen. You eventually find one excited by the challenge. I've never seen such ambitious designs. And you say these are from a real ship? What a marvel it would be to behold. I believe I can emulate these works, but I'll need time along with some capital to begin my study. Mm. Okay. What else? It says get a card. It says find the study, discard 10 coin, reward is number 79. Okay, so, so no find the study, discard 10 coin. Luckily, I have 10 coin. So I will discard 10 coin. But this should go into yours. And that will go on to right? ongoing story. And reward is number 79. Um, so, Joe, uh, my reward is card 79. So read card 79. Because that, this is. Um, well, it should be Wait, this epilogue. does say journey. So the <sighs> epilogue is next. Yeah, Hold so on. That, goes into, the, that goes into the story. Don't read it yet. Yeah, so when it triggers story. next, that yeah. one fires off. Now I'm understanding. God damn, boy. Yeah, so you have the start of the story. You have the journey. So this says journey. You yeah, because mine's story, mine's journey. Story, so my journey, next one is epilogue. epilogue. Right. Yeah, yeah. Cool. 
So that's then I'm missing a story card. I might have put it away somewhere. I don't remember where I got it. I think it was nope. the expedition just, that I went on. Because this it is was. the one. Give that me the expedition card deck. Discard deck. Thank you. That was this one. A sight before you is phenomenal and inexplicable. So, <coughs> which turned out to be the shit Make that sure you're you're about to You guys all reset your three tokens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Oh no, they kill him. I reset three tokens? Yeah, because at the round. start of the new round, right. everyone refreshes. Okay. Um, Damn. Does it cost money to repair your ship? Uh, yeah. I'm going to have to explore this. I'm broke as fuck. <laughs> I, yeah. can, I can. Um, the ship, right? It costs five coins per node that you want to repair. Okay. Well, fortunately, you have one point of damage, so. Okay. I'll just have to look Fuck for it. I, I mean, let's just get this done quick. I'm yep. going to spend yeah. 40 gold mm -hmm. uh, to get four tokens. I'm already in the spot. Four clues, right. And I'm already in the spot to do it, and I'll just... But, but hold on. Um, you can only interact with the spot once. The spot only lets you... So you were... you Previously, you were uh, in the university, yeah. and you were... Where else? The bone the set. The bone set. So after you used both of these things, then you would have had these returned to you. I couldn't have gone to the university. The university is not able to use multiple <laughs> times on a single port visit. You're going to have to use a whole new turn. I think mine only did because you, oh, I, can, I can only turn in four at once. I can't turn in eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm going to keep my goal. Okay, are you done at uh, port? Because yeah. you've got two guys that went to port. Now here are your guys back. You already put your guys back. Okay. And um, so that was your turn? Yep. And you're the first player? Uh, I mean, technically well, going to port doesn't take any... I can actually navigation, just... Navigation, right. Just it keep... does not take navigation. You so, can move. So I'm going to go Explore. there, there, and I'm going to go to the, the other port. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. And then, so when you go there, you can put both of your people back on the board. So you wanted to do the... Well, we'll, we'll do that first, and then we'll see, yeah. Okay. But I probably... The, do the Desian first. Why Why did you draw that? What did you give Joe? Oh, the this, I guess. That's wrong. Oh. That's an expedition. Okay. Joe is the this one. Discarded literature incidents. This may cast aside. Tames primarily concerns the subject of human... Human psychology and the power that one could have over those around them. Test. Building. Got it. I didn't understand what you just said. Your eyelids are getting heavy. <laughs> Where is the <laughs> test? Ah, I left the dice on the board there. <gasps> Bad joke. <coughs> five or lower. Three. Success. Woo! That's lower than five. Pass. Collect two fleeting orders. Two fleeting orders. These are bonus orders that are discarded at first use, but they're wild. That's right, they're so wild. You can use, use them, them for anything. Idiot. Sweet. Um, Give me the card. Give me both of those since they're both discards. Yep. I can be okay, where are you going uh, at port? One's going. How do the the one where I can like stay a while and listen? We'll do that one first. Okay, stay Tyler. a while and listen. You can. Uh, Pen five gold and roll the fate die, or ten gold and get or one clue for sure. Guaranteed. Oh, that's shitty. Uh, let's go to higher crew. Higher crew. Yeah. Okay. Draw four crew, and then so four crew. Three crew. Draw three crew. Yep. Cards All right. are there. That right here. If you draw the f top three there, and then let them choose between that. Is it Uno or Connect Four? Yahtzee! <laughs> <laughs> sure, what, did we have to be paying? Oh, that's every turn we have to pay the wages. Any of these may be hired. Oh, yeah. Oops. We have been not paying our fucking wages. I'd have had a mutiny because <laughs> I had <laughs> shit to pay you, these you, guys. you ain't got no money? <laughs> oh, I tell you what. Shit. I tell you what. You ain't got no money neither? I do. Okay, me and Joe are going to pay the crew. So <laughs> it's five bucks. Per crew, so I will pay my crew, pay your crew. I didn't. Okay. Let's not pay any of their crew yet. I, oh, paid, I just paid fuck. my crew. You paid your crew <laughs> yeah. for the last turn. Yeah. Um, I'll pay his crew, uh, Ray's crew for this turn, and then we cheated. 
<laughs> because there was uh, we're on turn uh, this is three three now. So we so should have paid it twice. Should have paid it twice. So we broke it a little bit. But I, can, hey, I can afford fun. to pay mine, no problem. I've okay. got a, I've got a bunch of money. I also just got a trauma uh, a surgeon who's five on islands. Well, if you got seven, a bunch of money, seven in a port. God damn, he's a five. You seven. don't you don't have a you don't have forty dollars, do you? Uh, you you want to pay for us on the first round? All of you? Yeah. I mean, I'll contribute five, Joe. Hey, you I blew my wad to get us up Joe, there. Joe, <laughs> let me get you to contribute ten. That's it's fifteen. So I got twenty on it. <laughs> Anyone else got five? I'll, I'll put, put the five put in. I'll put the five in. Okay. Now we are we are caught up. No cheaties. No cheaties. Here you go. What did he just put them back on? Or? He didn't want those. Yeah, put them uh, bottom. Mm. Yeah, discard them. So face up, face up, face up, to the side. Okay. Uh, I guess for the second Does one. Does he get uh, those for his new crew? I only That's get true. a negative because he comes with a set positive. It's diligent. I don't know what the fuck it does, but he's diligent. Oh, you only get a negative. Cool. Um, all right. So here is your new guy. What did you? What? Did, what is his name? Or what is his Surgeon. Name? He's a surgeon. Scurvy. And what is the bonus? Uh, he comes with diligent. He is 5'7", and I have no idea what diligent does. It doesn't say on there. Oh, it's on the back here. Diligent is a positive? Yes. That is... At the end of your turn, all crew on the same deck as the surgeon recover one trauma. Nice. Nice. All right, but this surgeon is... Lactose intolerant. <laughs> uh, <laughs> indolent. Can only be issued one order per turn. So Which is fine. he only really likes to do one he thing. Needs to like, be hey, I'm a doctor, <laughs> not a fucking explorer. Uh, explorer? <laughs> yeah. Not a Dora. Uh, I'm <laughs> sending my other one for free to the uh, thing where I get to roll and see if I get a clue for free. Oh, Gamba? Um, where? I don't know. The thing oh, where... clue for free. Yeah. Right. You're listening to rumors. Five. Five is zero to four. Nothing happens. Five to nine. You collect a clue. You got it for free. Free clue. Um, and that's it. I got one more guy I could do stuff Ooh, with. That's right. Uh, <laughs> you can issue him an order. Is there any way to make money on there? No. Make money. Gamble. Gambling oh, makes money. Oh, shit. I gamble. can gamble. Mm-hmm. Fuck it, let's gamble. It's five, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what do I need? Five to nine? I think so. Nine. You Look get you. fifteen. Holy shit! You win. Collect fifteen coins. So I'll give you my five. I'll take the twenty. It is a lucky motherfucker. You know? I mean, I had to pay everyone's wages. You did. All right, I'm done. That was a badass turn. And Joe. Yeah, he's cracking away apart. I thought he's throwing all these orders. <laughs> uh, we're going to go over here and see if we can find any more treasure. <laughs> just, just a hey, treasure I, hunter, I, I man. I need to, man. Do we <laughs> X that now that he searched yes. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Joe. Uh, when you do that, you get a roll on the fate die. Where's the die? Fate die. Uh, Alex has it in front yeah. of him. <laughs> what do you find? Six. You find Death. an artillery schematic. <gasps> uh, need the artillery deck, which is that one right. No, nope, that one right there. Give it to me. And then we got to look for a schematic. That is a schematic. Holy shit. Look at that, Joe. Uh, you have a commanding basilisks, but... When you get a schematic, it's upside down, mm -hmm. and then you have to have it installed in your ship uh, at port. So go to port, and then you can turn it right side up. And once you do, you have range motherfucking three. You can fire at people three spaces away, two dice on the ends, one dice at the but a little bit of a blind spot in the middle. Uh, but go ahead and put that into one of those slots uh, on your port or starboard side. 
and uh, upside down. If you put it upside down to remind yourself that it's a schematic, and then you go to port, and then it'll be done. Okay. And you've explored that area, so I will put the... Right there. You've scavenged that. What else would you like to do? That's all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you... Okay. Cool. Uh, my turn next. Who has the first player token? I do. Uh, so, so Ray will get a turn, right? After you go, yes. Okay, where the fuck am I? Oh, yeah, I am... What was I doing? I well, went to port. I need a surgeon token, if, or surgeon mini. Do we have one? What do you look like? You, you got a hat and uh, an apron. Sure. I was yeah. about to say. <laughs> no, no. Is that the one who looks like Iron Man? <laughs> Do you have, you, you know, so. A hat and a what? He's got a, a hat, he's got an apron on, mm. and he's got, like, uh, knives on his belt. You know, I think it's just uh, another crew for right now. I'll look at these bags in, That's in, fine. in the off time. Uh, but since it's my turn, I'm going to go ahead and go. Why painting is a single color? Um, I have no clues. <laughs> we need clues. Oh, I'm totally clueless. I'm at a. I'm broke. Mm -hmm. So turn me in the direction of another. Yeah, that direction, because I am going to navigate. And I'm going to gain one clue. Fuck. And then we're going to lay this down. Mm -hmm. You got a port and an island. Ooh. A port right away and an island way back there. Um, um, and I'm so broke I can't spend a lovely evening. OJ's so broke, you can't pay attention. Oh, when you gambled, <laughs> nope. did you spend five <laughs> coin? I did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna bullshit. Reward card 79. I Where did my money. card 79 go? It's under so the story That's how thing. you got your pocket set. Because <laughs> we need to get... One more. One more and there's a story? One more story symbol? coverage, I think. <clears throat> I guess I gotta go on an expedition. So I'm going to move two of my crew <coughs> into navigation slots. So when I navigate, I can go a total of three. One, two, three. I'm done. Okay. Shit. Um, I can't make money unless I go to an island or a shipwreck, right? Yeah. Or you can go gamble. Gambling can. costs money. It takes money to make money, baby. Take Shipwreck money. is the, the best option for you, I think. Oh, Shipwrecks. unless I want to get into a fight, yeah? Mm. Yeah, because if you go fight the altar, you have an opportunity to... Um, die. Die, <laughs> for sure. Just making sure, Joe, can you flip mine over and make sure that's an Act 1 that I just revealed? Because we're, we are now out of Act... Two. That's an Act 2? Two? two. Okay, I couldn't have done that. Kay. Because that is, we're not in Act 2 yet, right? Uh, wait a minute. We are in Act 2. When do we get to Act 2? Is it when I we think when we hit track? that 4. Oh, okay. Yeah, when we hit that 4, we're in Act 2. Do we spawn a ba bad guy? Yeah, well, basically, when, when we went into a new act, we needed to uh, spawn new new bad guys and stuff. I'll do it. Don't worry. Uh, but Joe, or it's still somebody's turn. Whose turn is right. it? Ray's trying. Trying yeah, I'm trying it. to figure trying out to figure what's out the best thing to do to stop this <laughs> mutiny from happening. <laughs> I've seen some movies where they're like, is there any other way I could pay you? Mm -hmm. no, I really kind of fucked need up. <laughs> so you've been watching too much Family Guy. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> no. What kind of movies are you watching, Joe? Frankenhooker, man. You know his reviews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> movies. It's art. <laughs> They're historical documents. Movies. Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> historical documents. <laughs> All right. Well, this guy, we're absolutely going to have to haul Bernie ass Clips. somewhere. So I can turn one and shit. Well, that's rough water because so it's going to take an extra one to move through, right? Yep. You have to spend another crew token. <sighs> another crew or another navigation? Crew. Because crew, you can move them to the navigation spots in your ship to give you that extra navigation. Okay, so I can still... Does it only turn one? No, you can make it all the way. Or I can okay, so when we went into the next act, we get one new order token of choice. So we would have been able to do things a lot quicker, or a little bit quicker. So what order would each of you guys like? I'm going to take a navigation order. No. I'm going to take a crew order. I'll take navigation. Okay. Uh, crew for me. Yeah, you guys actually have more crew. I will take navigation. And put that into your active uh, token. Yeah. It, it would have been this round, so I think we're right, fine. So. And... And then that's that's when so actually we don't so we only paid our crew once. <laughs> so okay. you only pay crew at the end of an act. So I think we're owed some money back a little bit. Oh, yes, yeah, so yeah. you guys get a ton. Yeah. Um I paid like I had like five bucks well, left. Whoever carried ten on it. Whoever right? carried ten you, put, ten. you put ten on so it. So I get paid a 20, ten. I paid twenty five. And then. give twenty five back. Yeah. So you only pay crew at the end of each act. Sorry for fucking this up. And then for my crew, yeah. And then uh, collect all the enemy cards with an act value equal to the new act and shuffle them into the enemy deck. Instant. Place all cards in the ongoing stories deck face down Gets, thank you so much and for perpendicular to, to their decks. Ray now, loves it. now, while I appreciate the thought, let's say you knew it was coming, right? Oh. Spawn a storm tile equal in size to the new act in and an enemy ship on a random enemy ship spawn space. Okay. So here's what happened. Um, act two enemies are now in the act one thing. <laughs> and then by low, a so high. enemy ship is spawned on all of the spawns that have ship symbols. So one there. Yep. And <laughs> this is a wicked brigantine. Of course it is. It is not very strong. It only has two dice at firing, but it has five health plus four, nine health. Okay. Where's it going? And where is it going? It's going to the closest altar. Oh, so it'll get there, like, right away. Yeah. We're getting screwed on that. Okay. And that's what happened uh, when we went over to the act. So let's continue as normal. <sighs> Make that money, Ray. Well, I can take a shot at him as I'm driving by. <laughs> you can. It's a drive-by sailing. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, because I'm on my way to You just got to use your red token. Yeah, it's a good thing we got one. Now, do you, you have to line up the shot. What is your card uh, weapon? Oh, my rest of the saker is port starboard. All right. That needs to be. Oh. So uh, you'll need to put one of your crew in the starboard side. So that actually costs you a crew token to move him. And then the red token now to fire. To fire. And uh, you can only fire into that space and that space, and you're only rolling one. So you're going to need to move. That's the same. I was going to do it while I'm moving. While or you're moving, okay. So Because I already paid to move to gotcha. the shipwreck. Right. And I, I, think you can, I think you can split it up now like that. Now, if I yeah. can't, then I just no, got to keep can. hauling ass. No, you can. You can. Uh, so go ahead and roll the um, attack dice. Yeah, oh, one, we one, one dice. God that sucks. Damn it. I wish yeah. cannons were cooler in this game. That's all right. We, we got to announce our presence with authority. So now is yeah, when we, we need no a crit, upgrades. right? That is a fucking wild. Wah. 
Hey. Oh, exhaust a fresh order to change to a damage result. So you can get one damage on him if you want. You don't have to. Exhaust a fresh order to change to a damage. Uh. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's going to shoot at me, so fuck it. Why not? Well, I got to save that one. All right. Boom! Okay. Get back, bitch. <laughs> you took a damage. Yeah! And now I can keep sailing on to the shipwreck because I need to get some cash. Yeah. Okay. And it's always better to send the island. Is this the shipwreck one that he, he draws for shipwreck? Because the ship trick, shipwreck ship is not. You don't draw anything for shipwrecks. Okay. Where's the shipwreck you're on? He, he's right there. Okay. So nobody's gone to that one yet. Roll uh, the green dice. Where's the green dice? Right. And then I'll give. I'll let you know your spoil. <coughs> Treat. That gets you a commodity treasure. So draw that treasure card. See if it says commodity. No. Keep going until you get one that's commodity. You got wood. Oh, hell yeah. Can Show it on the green the screen cam. It can repair up to two nodes. Oh, okay. Which it's is gonna good cost because you money. we need... But you can also sell it for 10. <laughs> um, Which I need to pay my crew port. with. <laughs> but yeah. I've got to get the port Put first. it in your hold? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, damn, that's going to take all my movement to get back to port, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I do have the extra movement, so fuck it. So I either repair or get the money to pay my crew. <laughs> and this shipwreck is now exhausted? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, well, you get to go into port for free. Yeah. But, oh, yeah, I'll just have to send the other guy. I can't send the degenerate. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't send him. So we'll send the quarrelsome one because he can only be on one space by himself anyhow, so. We can send him there. Do I repair the ship or do I sell it and get the tent? Well, I got to sell the wood and get the okay, tent. Okay, where are you putting him in town here? So you're going to do a sell, yes. buy, sell. You're going to go to the marketplace and you're going to sell. Uh, now, what's the name of this city? Because you <coughs> might get more money for it. Look under your ship and tell me the name of the city. It's like oh, Barry something, Barry, right? Is it Fester Barry? Yeah. Oh. It's the wood is worth double there. Instead of getting ten, you get twenty. Nice. Twenty monies. Twenty money. There you go. Sweet. Twenty dollars. Make your hollers. Okay, now since we're there, do I want to does that get discarded somewhere? Put that into a discard pile okay. right there. Do I want to load up on cannon? F to buy oh to for to buy stuff? No, I'm saying I can put a cannon. That way I've got one in each direction. Well, you already have one on each direction already. All it is is an upgraded cannon. Yeah. Uh, oh. And it would go in oh. one of those three oh. slots there where you see it says bow, stern, starboard, port. Yeah, um, have to it go could, in one of the open It would slots. replace. Yeah. It okay, can, so it would just it be a be stronger in addition one. to or it can be uh, replace a current one. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Because when you go mm -hmm. to the ship right, then you... I think draw four upgrades and you choose which combination. But we that pay you half do. price for it, right? Half price? No. Damn. We pay full price. Damn. I was hoping this place gave me discount. So you want to draw four <laughs> upgrades? Um, those are those. Uh, uh, nah, um, brown we're we're and doing good cards. just exploring and shit. I just want to make sure I can pay my guys and see anything else coming. And I used almost all of my tokens, so I'm going to have to chill here. Okay. okay. Bad guy's good? turn. Okay, so so we'll put his ass back on the boat. Well, mm -hmm. actually, with my yeah, yeah, and no, that's that's done, because when you go to port, you got to resolve it completely. He comes back onto your boat, got to go in one of the d below deck slots. <laughs> now there was oh, one thing I forgot to do was uh, spawn the um, storm. I just uh, require that you go through this game once to even have any amount of uh, success. Okay, so spawning player shoes a little fish. So, so um, act two.
place so that one of the hexes covers the current first player's location and choose the placement and orientation of the storm once placed the storm no okay so who was the first player that was the first player this when time. we hit uh act two you me were. where are you purple okay so it it covers you when it first spawned now during each enemy phase the fate dice is rolled to see how storms move so somebody roll the green fate dice uh damn i got it it is an eight move one hex space in the direction of a player's choosing so we'll just go ahead and put that bitch out to sea <laughs> sit it towards area. the enemy ship so that's the way the storm is brewing Okay, so that was that. Um, Spitting facts. I'll roll fate dice and move storms. Uh, enemies on the deck activate. So one, the storm doesn't move. Well, I just moved the storm, actually. Okay. So enemies on deck, enemies at sea activate. Advance agenda. So this guy moves a value. What was his speed? Oh, right. It's just one, and he would orient himself to try to hit, which he does. So he is trying to come here. He orients himself here so that it hits a player. It does hit right here with two dice. So firing at Ray. You just got some wood. And that's two movement. So uh, you can convert that. Do we want to convert it? You got about zero. <laughs> I don't. I think it's <laughs> only if it's not relevant. And the question is, how do you determine whether the results are relevant? OJ wills it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because in because the results are relevant to me because he needs to get one more space and he can move two spaces and he advances the track. And that's how they win. So if they're choosing the hardest thing, it's not doing a tiny bit of damage to Ray. It's doing six damage. It's doing actually his health is nine. So nine advancements. He lost one, right? Yeah, I pinged him for one. Aha. Uh -huh. Eight advancements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, thank God. And, uh, yeah, it advances one. Shit! <laughs> and then we'll go to the one. Okay. Okay. Oof. Uh, whose turn is it? The bad guy's turn right now. So if once the bad guys are done, it's going to be OJ's turn. Well, the bad guys are... Oh, and then we advance the agenda anyway. Um... Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. And then pass the first player token clockwise. Joe, your turn. Okay. Reset moving. your dealies, three of them. Going to port. You're going to port. <coughs> this guy's going because this guy is no bueno. Mm -hmm. I'm going to discovery. One, two, three, four, Discovery five. Hey, we turned five. in. P move us up on the track. Boop. And is that a story? It is. Story time. Now, whose conclusion so this is this? His. Damn, so mine just got Yours is that one, yeah. and I don't know how to get that one. Yeah, apparently the that C one. two of us. <coughs> so and I, I could only do. So do I have to go to another island or altar? Yes. Yeah, so where do you get those? Where do you get those? That's why I thought it may have been the shipwreck one. But maybe it was open sea tiles, and we never realized it. I don't know. Because that deck is the biggest deck in the game, right? 
C events. C event card is drawn and resolved when a player ends their turn on a C space. Fuck, we've been playing the game so wrong. Well, at least I'm pointing in the right direction. Events. I'll just go. He's he's already on. He w well, all I have to do is go forward. Literally one space. Well, maybe we haven't been playing wrong every single time because I've been jumping to shipwrecks and Same. things, but maybe once or twice, maybe two or three times. Okay. Anyways, keep going. Okay, I could only use a university one time, right? Yes. Okay. Well, then I guess I'll go back. Do you, do you have enough for to pour it in again? Oh, to turn in that to advance this one more, yeah. And then what else? You're, you're going, okay, so yeah. you're done with that. Yeah. We just need to get to eight, you said? Mm-hmm. That's the short game. We're almost there. We just need to advance Oh, they go to time. the next port. Just do it there. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> can you go to the next port? Yep. Let me see a navigation. Okay. And, yeah, and then... Go to university again, and you're turning in the relic. Yep. And that will advance us well, one Well, you have to move a guy to the marketplace first. Oh, right. Give me the, the other. Marketplace or? Yeah, because you have to sell give the me, relic give me before that you guy. can do the thing. Well, I'm not trying to sell it. I'm just trying to get the five. Oh, yeah. you're just trying to. Oh, because you're selling it. You're just giving it to the university yeah. versus selling it. Because that yeah. doesn't that advance too? What? I don't know if you have to sell it. Or if you could just give it to the university, or what the actual because it is. says I could sell it for to Dustfall for twenty five or Blight. Oh right, you're just giving it to the university. But yeah, but I want to give it, it for right. five clues. You got it. it Sweet, it happened. That it does Advance it. this one. <coughs> Seven. One away from winning. That's all I can do. So I'm just gonna test it out. Okay, I'm in an open place. Okay, you still raised thunder. So yes. then we read that. Uh, who is the story reader for you? I'm sorry. For Ray. <laughs> right. But, I was just but see what when was. you draw a story card, you set it aside because it, it's not his. I think that's actually what, what it said, right? Yeah, so it just gets set aside. So <laughs> then <laughs> set aside and then get one that hasn't that's not Ray's and draw draw the top one for Joe. And read that top one for Joe. Yeah, that one's yours. <laughs> Okay, well, you read this one for Scarlet, for Joe. gifting out his oh, yeah, stuff. <laughs> Thank left. you for Scarlet. I'm left yeah. of Joe. Stay Pretty on my left because you ain't right. Okay, <laughs> here we go, Joe. This <laughs> is your story time now. My story begins. <laughs> it's it's his origin story. The crew are particularly lively tonight. You had settled into your quarters to study and prepare for days ahead. But their festivities are prov prov proving incredibly distracting. Please, can you keep it down? <laughs> <laughs> Moments of enjoyment are fleeting, and perhaps it's better to allow them to savor the moment. You have a choice. Do you break up the revelries, or do you leave them be? Leave them be. Leave them be? Oh, punk bitch. <laughs> okay. Um, they retire shortly after with dizzy heads and rested hearts. All your crew recover all strain. Okay. Yeah, that's good because he was going to get. Well, he was going to get one. Answer. Okay, well that's that's it immediately. That goes into a discard. One, yep. Okay. Yeah, well I'm done. Cool. Your turn. My turn. Um, I only have one clue. I'm not really um, doing good with that. I guess I will. I'm ending oh, it on I my turn, so you can just go on a sea adventure. You okay, can do let me you want. go. Let me go into exploration here. <laughs> um. Put my put it there. Oh, oh God bad guy! Fight him! That's torpedo fire! And we'll go to the island, Here it which comes. I'm I'm one short, but fuck it. Well, I'm going to the goddamn island. Fuck y'all. Oh, so we got draw, draw an expedition card for me, Ray, and tar uh, tell me what happens. Something unnatural is at play here. Whispers carry on the wind, uttering secrets and confidences that none could know. Following none's. the whispering leads you to a clearing with an enormously intricate pattern etched across the sands. Mm. And as you disturb them as you enter, the lines reappear anew. This is not a good place. Mm. Test! Test. Island! Okay, I uh, will send my lucky guy. Uh, I need a four or below. He it. died. Well, that's negative. <laughs> that's a. <laughs> this is not a good place. Well, this is <laughs> not a good place. Ray's laughing Getsy, at me. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> there it is. 
five. I have I won a single one by one. The maddening <sighs> whispers will not cease. All crews suffer strain. <laughs> it's the nerve. How much strain? Card sixty four, please. I, I assume one strain each. Wait All a crews minute. suffer one, one strain. Nuns don't work on Sunday. None Which shall one pass. Which one yeah, That's a bad habit. Sixty four. Just think Nintendo. So I, I, I get a card when you fail. Just just read this one. Read it immediately. The whispers on the wind. You thought you had escaped them after departing the island. And you did. Sports. For a time. But now the waking oh, hours no. of all aboard are assaulted by hushed utterances. The crew are becoming erratic. Oh, their no. muttered recitations, the stuff of madness. <laughs> the voices, Skipper. They're coming from the walls, the floors, each knot I and brain mock there. us. If we just peel mm -hmm. back the surface, I'm sure we'll find them and put a stop to the ravings. Yeah. And then that's a journey, whispers in the walls, until the end of the act, destroy any nodes containing crew at the end of every round. Oh! What? Oh! You're joking. Oh! If once you get to this point, yeah, until the end of the act, destroy any nodes containing the crew at the end of every round. That's and you get card 65. Keep that is fucked. Keep them yeah, under deck. see the card. <laughs> My crew literally tear, start tearing my ship They apart. went nook and futs. <laughs> Until the end of this act, which, like, I got it right. As it ends. As it, oh, okay. And I you know, you technically right. didn't oh, even get that destroy. card this time. I know, this time yeah. Anyway. Destroy any <laughs> notes containing crew at the end of every round. It's, damn, that would have sucked Whoa. big time. All right, and then it's Ray's turn. <laughs> Let's go navigation. And one has to go into yeah, to the, the cruise. Boy, yes. you cannot fail at that shit. <laughs> oh, that's you know? what I do best, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sail away, man. Sail away. So Sail grab a token away. first because you don't actually move into it yet. Oh, my um, bad. You're yeah, open like sea. that's a weird thing. So you do Does that. Does that count as an open can... sea? Oh. No. Well, he didn't end it. His he turn. can still move one space and end in the open sea. And you can and rough sea counts too for that those cards. It's open sea and rough sea. So I can go here. Yeah. Yeah. You spend one more navigation and you're good. You want to go to an island? No, he needs to go to rough sea to to finish his quest. I have to say I have. Oh, that's okay. what I said. So yeah. where I'm at good. is yeah. where I need to yeah. be. Sure. Draw, draw. Do that. Okay. Give me the epic conclusion. Finish me gently. You had managed to <laughs> disrupt whatever curse held the poor soul captive within the cave and bring them aboard to recover. Bam! But, <laughs> but they remain in a catatonic, catatonic state for some time. When at last they awoke, you offered to drop them off at a place of the choosing, but they have other ideas. I've spent enough time on land, trapped away in the dark. You came for me when that other scoundrel I had called a friend would not, and for that I owe you my life. Besides, I think it's about time I kept some better company, or at least company that won't leave me for dead, bound by a Stygian curse. Collect a shellback. I don't know what that is, but you have a shellback. It's shell a back. turtle. A <laughs> shellback <laughs> is uh, uh, like one of the one of the crew, I think. Um, they lack me. They really lack me. <laughs> Quartermaster. Hey, I'll take it. I don't know. Shellbacks are experienced professionals who can lead their, uh, yeah, more often than not, shellbacks are capable. So a shellback is one that has one of the slots filled. You see how there's yeah. two oh empty yeah. spots? So the first shellback is the guy you get. Yeah, so we don't need a disadvantage. Just give us an advantage. What you get? <laughs> master at arms. Oh! You got a master at arms. Mm. Oh, but he's expensive. And then a so just basically a third crew member. Oh, but he's on seven here. on island, five and that's pretty nice. That's, that's my that's best. Same dude. with my surgeon, yeah. Yeah. All right, so bullish. Okay. Yeah, something tells me I want to fuck with this dude. <laughs> is that your turn? Yeah. All righty, <laughs> then it is on Alex. I would like to. Um, I'm going to send one of my guys to the upgrade thing. I want to see what upgrades look like before I end the game. Okay, draw the four cards on that brown deck right there. Uh, one at least two crew or navigation modes, rough seas, treated calm seas, increased hold capacity, Ooh. plus one treasure when exploring shipwrecks, Ooh. corpse locker, place up to two destroyed enemies here when in port, discard them and collect two clues. All right, yeah, I don't want any of that shit. Uh, I'm going to spend uh, 30 mm -hmm. 
for three clues. And then I'm going to use the three clues plus this one to up our thing to eight. Hey, hey. Let's see what happens. Never lost. When we win the game. Sails into the sunset. Let's the bitter end happens. has come. Ew. Well, that's Joe's <laughs> ship. As long as you clean that shit behind you. <laughs> Wash it off. Swab that and poop deck. <laughs> you swab in the poop deck. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. So, we reach it first. Yeah, it just triggers end, end game. Nothing now, anyway. <laughs> Reach the end of the final act before the Elder One manifests in the world and completes its final objective, and the game is won. And we did the short game at 8 uh, instead of 12 or 16. Okay, cool. All right, let's go to final verdicts, final impressions. Final impressions! Uh... It's probably going to be a pass for me. I do see the potential of this. I do like the board. I like the exploration in this, but it just seems like the the rule yeah. book is kind of uh, muddy. It's, and for me, yeah. the player board is kind of messy. Yeah, player board. There's too much going on. It seems like they mm -hmm. tried to do too much. Yeah. They should have kind of narrowed it down to one mm -hmm. aspect of the game. Right. But it just... That's exactly Too, how I feel. A little cluttered. You're trying to f do your stories. You have to put one parallel. You got to get the other thing to go do this thing. Then you got to go over here. The do mechanics the don't quite gel it together. It doesn't. It doesn't. It, it just seems feels like off. a collection of It's like of once you start going, it's like a little, a a another hitch, another hitch. Right. But um, it's a pass. Now, granted, me, this is one of those games that because <laughs> it's so like, like learn this mechanic, like you have to go through it once, then it goes smoother. But yeah. Okay. Uh, so what, what, it's a what? It's a pass. Pass. Uh, which so you is mean a bail? Bail, yeah. Bail. Or do you mean borrow? Bail. Bail. Or so below below no, average. Bail. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, what do you think? Um, I like the idea of the story connotation to it, Me which too. is one of the most promising things. Yeah. However, having to jump back and forth and make it overly convoluted yeah. when it did not need to be took away from that. If yeah. anything, it it took it at a point in a negative direction for mm -hmm. me, not just to balance it out, but made it worse. You took a good idea, but shit mechanics kind of ruined it for me. Yep. I like the fact that it was co-op and we could have done a lot more together, and we I did, like which is why we That's won. Big, yeah. So that kind of balanced it out. I mean, it, it had the potential to be one of the better pirate games that we played because we played yeah, some sure. some ones I had just wouldn't want to look at again, but mm -hmm. it just kept falling flat. And like OJ said, exactly. it's trying to do too much once. This is like three decent games right. had they gone in any other direction with it, but trying to mesh it all together just made it too These jumbled. Are For massive. me, it's going to be a burn. Oh, Ooh. shit. I did not expect that. Okay. Like I said, had it done any mm -hmm. one of the other tracks, it could have at least <laughs> been a bail from me, but... Mm -hmm. The fact that it tried to do much and just failed at everything all together pushed me to burn. Yeah. Um, I think this failed as a co-op game, and at one time did I think I was playing with you guys other than reading cards for you. Uh, mm -hmm. We didn't do anything together a single fucking time. We collected um, clues. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't feel like I was doing piratey things under any circumstance uh, other than the cards that we're reading. I think that the game does succeed with the, the event deck, yeah. uh, but I don't think that this is the most successful pirate storytelling game. This, this game is insanely bloated. Uh, we use almost none of this game board. We use almost none of the things here. The rules are bloated, going back and forth. I, I think that there's some issues here. I think if you had pared this game down a lot, this is like a really promising first draft, and you go, yeah. hey, man, we cut this board in half, we get rid of half of these decks because yeah. we don't use them, and we change the rule book, and we have the rule book written by someone with a fully Ladies. functioning brain, <laughs> then everything ends up working out really well. But, I mean, the issue is, like, there is so much shit here that you are paying for mm. that you're getting no use out of. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I... Uh, I don't know if I'm as hard as a burn this thing, mm -hmm. but I would not ever want to play this again. Yeah. Um, Which is why. I mean, I wanted to go through like just going through some of these 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 decks. It's like there's nothing in here that I want to play. Right. I don't, it's I, bloated. I, yeah. It's a collection of game mechanic. Go ahead. And I just, 
I, I get excited when we play co-op games because like I live for co-op mm -hmm. board games and I didn't get to play a, co a board game with you. I sat at a table with you, but that's different. <laughs> but that's that's so wildly different. And so, like, it's true. this yeah. is something that yeah. if we, like, it did fail at that. I would have loved to go on expeditions with Joe and help help you out. Or yeah. had you yeah. encountered a pirate and you spawn one and we all get to jump we on fight, it and we just fight say, in, like, a in a single yeah. battle, basically. Yeah. So I am going to go. I think that this, like, a really promising first draft, unfortunately, this is the final product. So I am going to go with a bail. I don't want to play this one again. I don't hate it to the point where I'm lighting it on fire, mm. but I definitely understand yeah. lighting it on fire. Yes. Um, man. This is a collection of a lot of different game mechanics smashed together that have not been revised, that have not been uh, streamlined. It's You could definitely tell there's so much passion here. But I think this rule book needs a second pass, a third pass of revisions, not just, you know, you know slimming of revisions and sl slimming it down, actually. Uh, just like Alex said, the this player board here uh, it's just unnecessary. Uh, well, my camera turned off. I guess what this ran out of battery. It's plugged in. It's plugged <laughs> in. Blame OJ. Well, hopefully that's not dead. All right. Anyways, um, yeah, we we hardly used our player boards. And, I mean, it's just massive. The table space is big. It's just such a cool idea. It's like, yeah, I want to move my crew in individual parts of my ship. But not only is there individual parts of my ship above deck, but there's individual parts of my ship below deck. It's just too much for what it is. They're like individual mini games all smashed together that the pieces don't really work together with each other. It don't feel like we're comboing and doing that. Same thing with the co-op elements. There's no co-op elements. We're playing single-player games on our own advancing a token that's the co-op aspect that we're trying to advance a token together before the enemy advances their token so the theme is a bit off um the uh the battles the battles are not exciting you know you're just you're, you're shooting at a ship as it passes with one or two dice you have to upgrade it's it, it could be better and it definitely had the potential you could tell the passion you can tell like they really tried, um, but unfortunately, all these different elements do not come together in a satisfying way for me either. So I'm going to have to give this one a bail as well. God darn it. Uh, I, and this is the best version of the game. Look at all these painted miniatures. Yeah, there's just no way. I like, this. Way I like this. Awesome. The exploration is fun. But yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I like the exploration. And uh, once again, we are still left wanting with the pirate game. So uh, we'll take lessons learned from here, integrate it into uh, Alex's and I's design of our pirate game that eventually will get made because so far we've not been able to find one. Um, that really hits on all the things we want it to hit the bill. If it's bit so, <laughs> that's it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, to, let's see. Tomorrow the boys will be streaming. Um, Alex and OJ. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Check it out tomorrow. Left. Support them, and uh, and then we'll see you all back here on Friday. Oh yeah, uh, what was the cost on this one? Oh, the Q and A. Yeah. Yes, five p.m. Central Time on Friday. Yep. Friday. Mm -hmm. <gasps> and probably some Saints Row, some more Saints Row What'd action. What's up? What'd you do? I'll tell you off camera. That's, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, for, hold on. So, and then, uh, well, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you all so much. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe show. Okay, that's just to, yeah. to wrap that up. Um, but one other thing I wanted to say <laughs> was, fuck, I lost it. <laughs> so the Q&A. Yes. Um. We're going to do She-Hulk on Friday. Saints Row, She-Hulk on Friday. Yeah. Um, what am I going to say? Um, I can't can't remember. See okay. you later. No, no problem. All right, guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, see see y'all um, tomorrow. Don't forget tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>